Sweet Jesus Radio. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Sweet Jesus Radio. Coming to you from El Stu Recording Studio. Very special guest in the house tonight. Actually, two guests trying something a little new, a little different. Uh, I will introduce first and welcome to the show who is going to be my co-host for the evening, the homie Bobby, a.k.a. Rob Bass. You may know him as the the hot upcoming DJ, star DJ. <laughs> Ray, what's up, man? What's good? What's up, dude? So, again, listeners, uh, you're probably going to be hearing Bobby a lot. He's going to be co-hosting on, on, on some episodes uh, again. But our guest for the evening, who we'll be talking to, is a stand-up comedian from here in El Paso. You've probably seen him uh, performing at various bars and, and whatnot, comedy nights. want to welcome to the show the homie Otis Hicks. What's good, man? Hey, what's up? What's good with everybody? Nice. What's the deal, man? How's your day so far? It's going well, man. You know, yeah. just chilling, man, enjoying some football games and spend time with my little daughter. So I'm all right, all right, all right. Hell yeah, man. How about you, Bob? Ah, uh, man, just oldies all day. It's Sunday, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's oldie all day. day long. Yeah, it's oldie shit. day. <laughs> <laughs> you already fucked up. Right, right, <laughs> Bobby's <laughs> kicking the table. I've been here for five minutes, dude. It's not even nervous. Five minutes. Or what? I'm so nervous. Yeah, over here. <laughs> Just kick the damn table all crazy. <laughs> Shit, man. So we're going to go ahead and uh, talk about just different things, man. We're going into your background. Just right. give us some of the highlights, uh, you know, talk, any upcoming stuff like that. So let's, we'll start with that, man. Yeah. Uh, were you born here in El Paso? <coughs> no, nah, man. I was actually, actually born in Germany. I was oh, military. Oh, shit. All right. Then. So just give us your background, man. How was it like growing up? Things like that. If any stories come to mind, weave yeah. them in if you like. Well, it just, I grew up like my dad's. Black and from the country, and my mom's Puerto Rican. Oh shit! So it was a little, you know, a little Spanish going on yeah. there when I was growing up, and my dad was kind of stern, and my mom had that, you know, the Puerto Rican kind of attitude. Oh, so shit. <laughs> I think it was funny, but a lot of times my mom would say stuff to my dad in Spanish, uh-huh. and he would understand what he was saying. So she'd be like, like "Hey, oh, you know, or what? yeah," she'd be like, yeah, I'll, "I'll cut you, negrito. I'll cut Holy you." And he's like, "Hope you call me no black burrito, my like, dad." That's not what. <laughs> Black That's burrito. not what it means. Do I already yeah. have the title for the episode? This <laughs> early in Black the burrito, dude. Because I title like every episode. Like, oh, for real? Yeah, I'll give it like a funny title. They eat burritos in Puerto Rico? <laughs> for real? Black burrito. <laughs> they don't even eat burritos, right? It's because some people think all Latinos, like they're all the yeah, same. Was, yeah, I don't eat fucking burritos. <laughs> Matter of fact, Puerto Ricans hate spicy food, I, I, supposedly. They don't eat, I'm Puerto Rican, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forget. No, I'm not. Yeah, I know, yeah, but you have, me. but right, there's no spicy food, right, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, between us, we're a whole Rican. Yeah, whole Rican, oh, man. Shit. We make one fucking. Uh, <laughs> whole Rican. We're Puerto Ricans at this point, but we make one Mark Anthony right now together. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Dude, we just earned us a J Lo. Uh, we hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, Hell yeah, man. So you said born in Germany, military or what? Obviously, yeah, you know, my mom dad or mom. My, my mom was in the military, oh, so I was born in. Uh, I just assumed it was his dad. I'm all sexist. No, nah, no, nah, my dad was in the military too. <laughs> oh, but he real? retired before then, so he got okay. out of the military before then. So you're born out there. Yeah, man, it, it's crazy. Germany's a little bit. Uh, how you say not as conservative as we are over here, man. So all right, they have like uh, all the sexual stuff and mixed in with yeah. everything. So it's kind of crazy. They're into pooping stuff a lot over there. Well, something like that. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> well, just kind of crazy. Not poop you porn. Don't poop, do you? poop porn. <laughs> oh, poop porn. <laughs> they are in Germany. Yeah, man. They keep all like <laughs> well, he's the bring up the sexual stuff. <laughs> yeah, they keep all the porn magazines next to the coloring books because they have they're not so conservative yeah. over there with everything. So and, and it, it, it was it was awesome being over there. It's cold as fuck though. Oh yeah, you like, castles? I've heard. But not, but yeah, we have some castles, believe yeah, it or not, man. Yeah. And like, they really have like, we get black ice in El Paso, and like, there's like thirty accidents in like one hour. There, they're 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 their black ice is really black. I'm talking about Wesley Snipes, black <laughs> like in Blade with a black leather jacket and black Camaro, driving a black Camaro black. Hundred down the autobahn, wrap yourself <laughs> around a tree. Yeah, it's it's really, really crazy out there, but it's really fun. Out there. I love Germany, man. I like so how how old when you up, up to how, what age were you there? Oh man, I went back and forth because my mom oh, got right. stationed there like All at right. least uh, two or three times. Sure. So like when I was in like third or fourth grade, and then when I kind of like was in middle school, I was there. And then when two last two years in high school, I was there. What other spots did you live at? Oh, uh, there and then like Kansas and stuff like that. And <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was lucky, man. I went to Kansas. I can't remember some spots. It's been so, so long ago, man. It was hard for me to remember all of it, man. But being overseas, man, it's just, it's just, it's just uh, military life. Well, being, being military brat, yeah, it's awesome. Cause any any crazy stories from that from that era, as far as like uh, just growing up with people or just 
Well, the thing with me, I was 16 years old and I lived on the base and I would hang out with the soldiers, like the airmen right. and shit, because the Air Force base on there. And there was like a little bar down the street. And uh, I didn't really drink that much. And you can drink when you're 16. Oh, for the, real? Fuck. Yeah, dude. So you yeah, get totally on. wasted. Yeah. So we and my friends, we started drinking uh, Bacardi and uh, Bacardi Lemon and Sunkiss. And I never drank before. So liquor hits you a little different <laughs> than beer, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I'm chugging down like glasses of fucking shit. And they're like, hey, man, slow down. We didn't even <laughs> went to the pub yet. Slow down. And I remember like taking one step and I totally blacked out. Oh, shit. So, and this is at 16? Yeah, man. Fuck. So I went up going to the pub, dude. <clears throat> and I ended up like throwing up on the pool table <laughs> and shit in front of all the girls and shit. Killed the whole vibe. Damn. That, that will do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a vibe killer. The old, yeah. the old uh, vomit on the pool table trick. Yeah. Shit fire. <laughs> and I, I was so I'll fucked up. I went to the bathroom and I left my pants open. Oh, shit. And I came back to sit oh, down and I threw up in my pants when my zipper was open. So all the vomit went inside my drawers and stuff. <laughs> <Lucky>. <laughs> Sounds hot though. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> You're into that sort of thing. He was getting into it because he was in Germany. So <laughs> when in Germany, do what the Germans do. Oh, it's so fucking just some vomit porn. <laughs> porn, dude. Vomit, vomit porn. porn. It's all so good. So what's I, I guess now I have two names for the episode. <laughs> Black porn. burrito, vomit porn. It's also the name of my punk band in high school that I have. Vomit porn. <laughs> 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 that is a cool name for a punk band though. Yeah. Don't steal my ideas, guys. Yeah, and all my friends can vouch for that story, man, because they had to carry me to a, uh, this woman. That owned I don't know your friends. I'm not gonna question it. Well, my friends, <laughs> they can gonna call your friends. Hey, is that true? <laughs> yeah, they had to take me to the good. The woman that owned the pub, they took me to her place, and she had to wash me up Holy and shit, shit like that because I was I had vomit passed out. That's crazy. And That's she, extreme. And she, I woke up the next morning with different drawers on. Like, and I didn't know who. I, there was speedos. With some pink. Uh, it, was, it was the ladies. <laughs> You yeah, also this is all I got. Today. Sorry. I got these boy shorts for you. Yeah, so it was tripped out. I woke up with like Speedos with soccer balls on them. Holy shit. And I didn't know what the fuck. I was like, what? And I, soccer balls? It tripped me out, dude. And then I went and I didn't know the fuck a house I was in. And I walked down the hallway and she's with her family and her two like, daughters. What the fuck? Where am I? Eating cereal. And I'm all like, man, who's the black guy? And the Speedos and soccer balls on the Speedos and shit. So it was kind of crazy. They man. use the N-word. Don't lie. I don't know how you say the N-word in German, but... <laughs> Shiza Negro? I don't know. There you go. Trust enough. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> what the heck was I going to say? Fuck. <clears throat> I just forgot. I lost my fucking thought. Anyways, yeah. So Refer to your notes. Huh? Refer to your notes. No, I just I had a question then I fucking lost it. Based on Germany. Yeah, anyways. So, okay. That's fucking crazy. That's an awesome story. Yeah, man. Um, been... So, like, how many, how many different places have you lived at, man? Oh. I mean, you've been all over the country or... I know, I know. With the with the military, you're all over the fucking place, right? Oh yeah, for the most part, man. But mostly it was just Germany, and then um, I ended up going to like, Kansas and other places like that, man. Mm-hmm. Stayed in Tennessee for a little bit down south and stuff like that. So, it, it, what? How did you just end up staying here then? Well, my parents retired here, so they chilled here. Okay. Yeah, they, mostly area military like personnel, like they like El Paso. They like so El Paso, they, huh? Staying up, staying here. That's dope, man. It, it's chill and laid back. A lot it's of people, like, man. well, the cost of living is lower too. Yeah, that too, man. You can buy a house for like what thirty thousand or something over here. So. <laughs> twenty five G's. <laughs> starting, starting at twenty five. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, well, yeah, pretty much. Like with like two dollars in a in a bag yeah. of Jolly Ranchers, you can get a house. Jolly in Ranchers, uh, <laughs> a rib. I think Jolly Ranchers <laughs> is a minimum down payment. A sandwich. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, man. I'm your happy sandwich. Cool. Yeah, some tater tot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, yeah, man. Shit, that's fucking interesting. Did you ever experience any? Because you're not from here. So, at what age did you kind of start? Did you settle here? What 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 age was it? Teenage years or? Oh, uh, kind of like early uh, early twenties, man. So I, okay. I Do you sure. mind asking me? I mean, me asking you your age? Oh, I'm thirty. Thirty. Okay. Yeah. So early twenties, you were in El Paso. Yeah. Man, okay. So. Cool. Did you ever? Because El Paso is mostly freaking dirty spicks. Have you ever <laughs> have you ever experienced any like racism or anything like that, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, on occasion, man, but not too much. Any stories that are based uh, revolving around that at all? Oh, racism, man. Yeah. Um, the only thing I can that happened to me once was like one time I was like, this is a true story. I was walking through the mall, and this this woman like she clutched her purse. Oh shit! <laughs> so you know I clutched my penis and said, "You can't have this either." <laughs> So it was, and she just looked at me like all in shock, Damn. and I was like, "Fuck that!" And I just kept walking. I I, I laugh at it because you, you can't let stuff like that negativity like keep you down. You know, so I, I try to make la- uh, like uh, you know laughter out of everything that's negative because you don't want to take it to control you or fuck up your whole entire day. I'm not trying to use the the n word, but I, for a second I thought you said negativity. 
Like, you know what? That's another that's title. Word. That's another title for this. <laughs> but it's kind of like ties in because you know how like negativity. Chris, Chris Rock talks about black man, yeah. black man versus N word. word. Yeah, like it's in a segue into some political shit, aren't you? No, I I'm know. just saying that that's a cool little uh, term. Negativity. Negativity. I like you that. Fucking around that negativity. I could. I could really use that. It's like ignorant shit. You know, it's being closed minded. It could even apply to just all races. In yeah, general. it can be either positive or negative. So yeah. if I ever get with a white girl, you're like, you want some of this negativity? Yeah. Inside. Negativity. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> He's helping me right now. He's helping me upgrade my game right now. Thanks I'm a trying, lot. Man, I'm trying, man. I have no game whatsoever for a hey, black person. You came to the wrong dude for a game, dog. I'm a, I have a zero game. Dog. I got like that Will Smith rhythm. Like, is you good enough? You can kind of get away with it. You can dance kind of a little bit. <laughs> and Will Smith can't really throw down, but he can just get away with it. Like, oh, yeah, he he's good. bad boys, dude. Yeah, that's it. I mean, he never he's has like it. the whitest black dude at the top there right now. <laughs> <laughs> he For real. He's like, he's he's like just on the cusp he's, of it. He's a new Wayne Brady. He's just very, yeah, he's you know yeah. very clean, very, not that, 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 that it's bad, but. No, it's not, it's not bad at all, just man. A, like, he's just his ball. He's my role model right now, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, shit. Strictly that's, role model. Like, you, you got a fine-ass woman like Jada Pickett. I am. And you get the, and I heard they had an open relationship. So what? Yeah. that's what I heard. That's, I don't know if it's true. I just heard it's an open what? relationship where they can kind of. Well, he's getting a divorce now, he's, uh, he's got some interesting ideas, man. I like that, dude, because he's, uh, I've read some shit up about him. Like, he's just very open-minded. Yeah. What about his kid? Well, that's why that's a result of yeah. I think get the having that embracing <laughs> so everything. Eccentric so. shit, yeah. So you just you get that, but uh, like, because you know people always hate on Scientology and shit, and he like he's not a Scientologist, but he like he likes some other ideas. He said, I like, yeah. read an interview, like, oh yeah, right. but it but it makes sense. Like all fucking religions are fucking nuts. Why are you gonna fucking buzz? Scientology's balls. All of them are fucking nuts. Christianity. If you look at nuts. it, yeah, man. I, I, Islam, all, they're all fucking nuts in their own way. Yeah, and have, yeah. Dianetics. Dianetics have I read it? Yeah, read Fuck that. no. You? No, I don't. I don't like. I, mean, that. I kind of want to read it now. I've never actually thought of actually doing it, well, yeah. just to get like an insight. Yeah, that it would be nice. Isn't it's it like, like some? It's like a, is fiction? Is it a fiction? It's like some. Story? It's supposed. To, I think that shit's based on some sci-fi shit. Sci-fi sci shit. That's like an oversimplified way to explain it, but and then they like no disrespect just, to anybody. But. Yeah, no yeah. disrespect to it all, but then like they reduce We're coming, to a religion, right? Yeah, somehow. Yeah, a I mean, fictional book, but again, a religion. But that's what people say about the Bible, you know. Who'd have thought? I know. Who'd have thunk it? You can trust me. Never been dumb before. My friends are atheists, man. So it trips me out. Like, like I'm like, I guess he doesn't believe in God or whatever. So I'm like, so during Christmas you shouldn't expect shit then. Yeah. Okay. Well, for him. Yeah. I'm like this. He's like, hey, what my? I like, dude, you atheist. You ain't getting shit. Like, you got. You shouldn't be atheist just to get shit. It's gonna be an insult for you to receive. I know. Just say you're Christian. Just just to get some shit. You know what though? It's like, what's the joke about? They couldn't like vegans or CrossFit. Like they couldn't. Uh, they're always telling people about it. They can't. Stay, they can't shut up about it. Oh yeah. right, yeah. Like that's the thing with atheists too. That's what they say. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm atheist. And atheists. They make it a point to tell you. Would you say CrossFit and vegans? Yeah, CrossFit, <laughs> CrossFit <laughs> vegans. Like, yeah, so we're like, like CrossFit people, vegan. That's the I joke. Saw that, I saw that meme. It was like a dude, like his face is all stressed out. Yeah, because it's like dying it's to five tell minutes without talking about saying, whatever. Telling somebody's a vegan. Vegan, yeah. atheist, CrossFit. I'm not gonna be thinking about vegan CrossFitters. <laughs> vegan. I made a joke like that. I made a, on Facebook something about CrossFit vegans. I forgot what the fuck it was. Yeah, I'm I'm like I'm, I'm, I'm jocking myself. Like, you got it. I got I got these jokes. No, somebody posted that. I think it was that meme, and I'm like. Oh, CrossFit. You know, somebody was saying, I want to become a so-and-so atheist or something. I'm like, nah, you should be a CrossFit vegan. <laughs> <laughs> it's we, not, you had to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's looking at me with his arms crossed, like, step it up, his suit. <laughs> no, no, I'm digging it. I mean, what have I done? It's so cool. Nah. <laughs> cool, man, shit. So racism, boom, there you go. There you go. <laughs> let's, let's, get into the, let's get into the comedy, man. What happened there? Were you the Were you the funny kid in high school or? Yeah, I I just you know did whatever like I was uh, like. What made you want to get into it? It was just I was just a class clown and due to the fact that it kept me from getting my ass kicked. Mm. So the bully would be like, "I was gonna punch you in the face, dog," but that was funny. That was real funny. Can I be? Can I interrupt you real quick? It's yeah. the opposite for me. Yeah. Me talking shit and being funny gets my ass kicked. <laughs> really? It was a complete opposite for me, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm like dissing the bullies because I can't. I, I know you can kick my ass, but I can't keep these jokes in. They're, yeah. They're gonna come out. Nice. And then like, boom, cracked. <laughs> me is the opposite, man. It would, it would do like the dude's like, you know what, dude? I'll punch you in the face tomorrow. I'm like, that was funny. I'm gonna let yeah, that resonate pass, a little bit. Pass. Yeah, I'll crack your jaw tomorrow, man. Like that. That's was. It would keep me, and plus, like, you know, I ain't trying to get too personal, but it would be like, 
It was kind of therapeutic, man. Like it would help me go through. Like when I was kind of going through a little tough time, um, like personally, I would like just go to my just making people laugh, and that actually helped me feel better. What was the tough? What at what age was this tough time? Teenage years or it was well, sixth grade, dude. Because okay. I wasn't. Why? What's the what? What was the reason for the? Tough the thing time? is, it was I, I. I was really properly raised, and I, I use my vowels, man. I I I fucking You're, enunciate okay. my fucking syllables and shit, and I got teased because of <laughs> you that. Say the R's at the yeah, end. Yeah, and words. everybody would count on me like, "You talk funny. Why are you talking so proper? You think you white?" I'm like, "No, I just." Oh, you think you're my master? You yeah, master? like Chris Rock <laughs> bit that he does about yeah. master's degree. Oh, you're my master now? Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I, I'll get clowned on like that. So I would I don't understand. So when I moved down to Tennessee, man, a lot of the Black folks, not all of them, but some of them be like, yo, man, you talk funny. What's wrong with you? What you trying to do? Trying to be better? Think you're than us? Yeah, and I was like, nah, dude, I just use my syllables. I, I, well, technically, uh, yeah, I am better than you in a sense because I know how to enunciate and, pr- and pronounce the word. Yeah, so it's a... Yeah, <laughs> I, I like got grammar, sorry. Yeah, exactly. So I get teased <laughs> yeah. a lot. Like some of my cousins had my back be like, hey, man, leave my boy alone. He just, he grew up somewhere else. He, he's from that Germany fact. and shit. He yeah. throws up in his underwear. You know. Yeah, he, he's different. He, he, he different. <laughs> yeah, he listens to Will Smith and shit. Like, calm down, you know? He's a Scientologist. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man, it was a little bit therapeutic for me where I would just keep making people laugh and I just enjoyed it that much. And All I was right. always, I was always just, just to, make, to take somebody else's shit like where you don't have to worry about something or, or be a distraction when right. somebody's going through some shit. Yeah. yeah, it makes me feel better. So that's what made you go through this, that, like just fitting in or what was the shit you were going through? It's basically not fitting in. Okay. Basically so like- I felt like ostracized. Yeah, so I basically like you said, fuck it. So I was fucking with you. Yeah, so basically I said, what's the point of fitting right. in when you can stand out? All right. So that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be like everybody else. Yeah. I say, fuck it. I, I And they say that- But I, there was a period where it made you, you were, you did- Maybe you want to fit in, or you felt bad about it. Yeah, I kind of like wanted to fit in. Then I realized as I, as I kept getting older, I was you, like, "Fuck it, man!" Yeah, okay. You get older, you realize that, hey, fuck it. I don't yeah. pay my own yeah, fucking yeah. way. I don't need to yeah, go I, with everybody I else. I got you. I got you. But before you had that epiphany, there was a little yeah, bit of like maybe some, some yeah. blue, the blues. Yeah, and plus I was flat footed. I don't have any arches oh, in my shit. foot, so I wild like a duck, man. <laughs> Dude, me so, and this guy, so I have so much in common. I'm oh, really? Yeah. I'm up in Germany. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Hey, you, you, we, got, my, we got the my, same father. I'm like, I don't know about you. Him. You wear glasses. <laughs> oh, shit. You kind of look alike. <laughs> you got the same yeah, something. facial features. Dude, my, my dad was a Rolling Stone, so I'm sure he dropped oh, a couple of seeds shit. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, son. Wow. Damn. We see about my mother. <laughs> <laughs> the brothers, man. They get down. Well, my dad's pullout game wasn't always on point. <laughs> He brags about it. I know how to pull out, boy. I've been pulling out since 1955. I'm like, get out there. Shut up. We were talking about the pullout game last night. <laughs> Who I'm was? not going to go into details. <laughs> yeah, you should, actually. Uh, man. That sounds interesting. Just somebody that. Oh, knows. that was me and you. That was on Friday. You pulled out, though. Of what? Of- <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what were we talking about? Yeah. No, nah, I'm not going to go into that story. That's no, every guy thinks their pullout game is on point. You think like I'm gonna go in here raw? To, you know, it's real good. I, I can. I can I'm trying manage. to trap chicks, but I, they haven't gotten pregnant. I'm, I've been trying to trap them. I don't pull out. No. But like <laughs> my my boys don't swim. I guess I've been trying to get bitches. Pregnant. For real? So you really? just, you don't even pull out. You just park in. Yeah. I'm gonna park in here real quick. I it hasn't happened for me. I've been I've been wow. trying to trap girls, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Hey, Hell no. Break. That's a joke, girl. Fuck. You need a shot break for that. one. Fuck that. I would never do that. Get stuck with some crazy. Take, take a shot break. Yeah, let's do that. I'm down. You should do it. Well, I'll just do it right now. We're not gonna do it. I'm not going to pause it. You're not going to pause it. I'm going to take a shot and uh, get another beer while you talk to Hoda. Ask, ask him whatever, some questions you might have. Or make them up on the spot. I don't know how yeah, prepared I, mean, you, I, mean, I don't know how prepared you are. <laughs> I, this I, is I, like I my co host. Really, I didn't really I didn't really like think about it, you I know. Like but it, like the first thing I would ask you, obviously it, like straight on the way. Right like, who like who's your comedic inspiration? Like what's your style? Oh uh, man, it, it's so many, man. Like I mean everybody says Richard Pryor because that's the you know that's the, that's do, the go do, do besides do like, the go to's. You do like dry comedy type stuff or No, you know what? I like I honestly I, I really like the first guy I watched was was Chris Rock, man. So that that was my like comedic inspiration, like like Chris Rock and, and like Bill Hicks, guys like that, because they were just so raw and upfront with it. Like they kind of shocked. Like some of the stuff, like if you go back to their old comedic stuff, it still shocks people to this day. Like yeah. they, they have to what they fuck. Right now we're in the, like in the in the age of everybody has to be PC, you know. So everybody has to be politically correct, and now everybody's like now everybody's so. 
I hate to me, that piece fucking of shit. yeah, everybody's yeah. so fucking sensitive about it. Yeah, no doubt. Every like, fucking. It seems thing. like in the eighties, like you could be a lot more raw. And it was yeah, like, dude. Like it was shocking, but like people didn't get like super offended about it. Yeah, man. Nowadays, like, like you gotta get sued, you know? Yeah. And There's I, a lot of good and bad side to it, cause like to a degree, yeah, like you know, you need to be sensitive to people. But if it's a fucking joke, calm the fuck. Down. Yeah, everybody just fucking oh, like. Jesus Christ. I just can't. It's it just too much sensitivity. Even some of the, if you look at some of the YouTube comments. Oh, some of Chris Rock man. shit. Like, I can't believe it. He's that racist, the N word, and black. I like this. Look, he was being real with it at that time. So it's, and it still applies to this day. It's true, it's true. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and, but if it's jokes, too, if it's jokes, it's jokes. It doesn't, even if it's not something true, like, if it's obviously I'm kidding. Like, yeah, but you know what? A lot of people can like it, it. Don't like people are commenting on videos. Why the fuck are you watching the fucking video? TV yeah. programs, why is this? Yeah, don't watch the damn show. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes Authors. the YouTube comments are just. I mean, they're just absolutely more hilarious than I, actually. I, yeah, I go I for the comments, dog. I read comments. The, the, comments. Content of yeah. the comments is everything. Sometimes. Oh, you seen those memes of like Michael Jackson eating popcorn? I'm here for the comments, or, yeah. or some like yeah, fat guy yeah. walking into. Did the comments start already? Yeah, <laughs> it's true, man. I love those fucking I memes. Mean, who takes the time out to get in a battle with someone that you've never even seen or met? This is I don't understand that shit. A lot of these like, like debates that they get yeah, into. Yeah, it's just most of these motherfuckers still live with their parents in the basement and yeah, shit. Yeah, no doubt. It's like yeah. But it's also like I social justice hard. warriors, man. Yeah, but most of those guys that they, on social media and spend their whole fucking time on there just being haters and shit, just they basically they get no ass. They're not getting any ass. That's what I've always ass. said. Well, you know, not that it's a groundbreaking thought, but yeah. the internet gave everybody a voice. That's like mm-hmm. the bad and good thing about it. Yeah, you're right. It's the a double edged awesome sword. The thing about man. it is that gave everybody a voice. The bad thing about it is that it gave everybody a voice. <laughs> like, yeah. fucking retards are overly and, sensitive people. Or, yeah, and the thing is, is, some of the like stupidest shit like I've seen on the internet gets the most views. The shit's not even funny, like two million views. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And President Obama can say something positive. And I'm like, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an, an Obama supporter? No, you know what? I, the whole politics thing is I don't go to either side. I, I, I let it swirl in my mind a little bit. Yeah. I, I go to both views and then I form an you opinion. Take the issue by issue, right? Yeah, I don't go like I'm conservative. Or but I'm some liberal. people, like it goes into tribalism, how some people just kind of like align yeah. themselves with a team, no matter what the fuck it is. Yeah. It's like blindly following some shit. Because if you like look, I'm at, Team Obama, or I'm a Democrat, or yeah. I'm a Republican. No, nah, motherfucker. Like, what if they say some? Fuck it doesn't shit? matter. No, I'm a Republican. Yeah, and no matter, no matter what, what they say, they're on their side. That they ride or die with that. Group. I guess that yeah. like last comment was more directed to like all these people that are supporting uh, Donald Trump right now. Mm. I mean, don't you think that's kind of wild? Like people are like, you vote Republican, you vote Trump. Even who cares? Yeah, that's who what I'm saying. You blindly yeah. that's tribalism, like. I'm team this, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's that's like, what, I mean, that's what, what the I'm fuck saying, is yeah. that shit? That's fucking. I've, I've never. I mean, that I don't. Ag- I don't agree with a lot of shit Trump says. I don't want to get too political here, but no, yeah, get political. But it, it, but if you look at it, he at least. I don't agree with half the shit he says, but he has the balls to say it. That's why. That's why he has, I think, so much supporters because everybody's tired of that that's norm. That's the beauty of being your own boss. Yeah. You, when you don't have so fucking bosses, saying, like, you can say what a lot of people are thinking, so people are identifying with him. Yeah, and honestly, a so lot of it is, but it also shows you it's a weeding. It shows you who's who, though. It exposes yeah. people like yeah, negative and positive. Like it looks, oh shit, there's a exactly. lot of fucking crazy racist motherfuckers. Exactly, they agree with that shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? But and like you said, when you have your own money and you're your own boss, yeah, like, you don't have anybody to appease to, so exactly. you don't have to worry about. The what, the, what what you if say? You want to remove a Muslim from your from your rally? You're gonna remove a Muslim from your rally. <laughs> you know, shirt I heard says about I that shit. Yeah, I heard about that. My I shirt says I come shit. in peace, but remove. But I but that's my that's my fucking dream to be like that. Yeah, you like, have so much fucking money you can yo, do. Yo, Bobby's in the room. Get that piece of shit out of <laughs> here. here. <laughs> I just want to be able to like do whatever, like just punch girls or. You know, <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Okay, Bill Cosby. <laughs> uh, no, but you know what I'm saying? I don't agree with that. I, I, to be honest, I haven't been following uh, the whole Trump thing that much. But I'm sure I'd probably agree with a few things. But when it gets into the... Like, I, I can't say I've followed it. Yeah. But when you talk about not allowing Muslims, quote unquote, into the country, like there's... if You know, forget all your fucking hangups. Like, so it kind of makes sense. You, like, you have to be careful. But if you're talking about kicking out the ones that are already here... No, yeah. like it's fucking America, motherfucker. You can't yeah, just yeah. kick people out. Yeah, you just can't. No, nah, we have like a little period of where we're not maybe letting certain people groups in just to be safe for a, a period of time. Yeah. Maybe that kind of makes sense, but you can't just kick the ones that are here out. No, no, you just but you know what? He he's he's so brash that and people nowadays the the way the media and everything is, you can just if you have money and the power, you can say whatever the fuck you want. I, I can say like today, like I want all dogs to wear tuxedos. And if I'm rich, you're going to be like, you know, he has valid points. I think dogs should wear. 
tuxedos. And you will actually think of people actually think about that shit now. Back in the day, you were like, get the fuck out of here, man. Talk. But now I can say that shit and people go, you know, he has a point. I don't think people even thought that Trump would get that far. Like, uh, I don't even think he he even thought. Like, oh, yeah. shit. I think it's been on his agenda. People are listening to me. Oh, shit. This guy's been yeah. on his, it's been on his agenda. Yeah, but I don't think he years. even thought that people were going to be like, oh, yeah, people well, actually like my shit. He's got the shit. crazy <laughs> media storm behind him. It's insane. But yeah, the fact, it is. Yeah, it's, it's, but people got, I think so people crazy. just got tired of the same old, same old. Yeah. yeah. So Guys, so, vote Gary Johnson. That's all I'm saying. Libertarian, <laughs> the libertarian candidate. The libertarian? Yeah, libertarian candidate. Oh, I thought Delivered. You know what's a you know what's a it's not a great story but it's an interesting story. Uh, Big boy from Outcast, he was on a guest. This is a couple years ago. This is like actually the last election. He was on a guest on the show with Cypher Sounds. I guess Hot ninety seven maybe I don't know. I forget oh, which yeah, one yeah, on. yeah, yeah. It was him and some other host, a chick, and they were like, "Well, who did you vote for, uh, Obama or or uh, what was the other one?" Fucking Mitt Romney or some shit. Yeah, that's it. And he was like, "Ah, oh, Gary Johnson." And these these people, I like Cypher Sounds, Indiana, but right? they didn't know who the fuck Gary Johnson was. Indiana, right? Is that Gary Johnson, in Indiana? He or was. I think he used to be New Mexico shit. Anyways, oh, but he's he? a but he's a libertarian candidate for oh, president. You're right, he was. And uh, point being, like, if you're a host of a big popular show, and you only know like the Republican and Democrat. I like Cypher Sounds, but. They only know those two, and they're like Gary Johnson. Who's that? Yeah. Like they're they're like they bought in. That tells you that they already bought into that two party system, right? Yeah, you know what I mean. And then he went on on that same show to tell a story that after the election, when Obama won, he was at the airport, and one of the TSA agents were like, "Hey, congratulations on the win last night." <laughs> Some lady, <laughs> like she wasn't being mean, but like her told their ignorance, like, "Oh, you're the black guy won. Yeah, congratulations." She told him that, oh, like, goodness. "Congratulations on the win last night." She wasn't trying to be a dick. Like yeah. she just like assumes, yeah, you probably voted for Obama, right? Because you're black. He's like, ah, bitch, the fuck. Like, it's like I want, I want, I want, Gary Johnson. <laughs> I want, I want that's why I respect Big Boy, because like, because Gary Johnson, nobody knows who the fuck he is. Yeah, like, that's who we yeah. voted for. Big that's why I vote for. Big, big Boy was like had his scope on him. So that's but it was fucking funny. He's like, congratulations want, on the win. Last nah, bro. I want to. This is crazy. I'm very. Sad. What is it? Very sad news. Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Bernie Sanders. Back? I didn't know he was running. <laughs> no, the, I want yeah. Bernie Sanders to win only because he looks like a stoner. He looks like, he's like he a looks crazy like a ass fucking. Stoner, fucking dude. Yeah, he does. He looks like some wise old man that like comes out on some. He's like that dude that never talks in the movie at the end. He's in, he just spits some yeah. fucking wisdom at the end. Good science. Yeah. The only thing I'm afraid he's of is got it, that Jew voice too. If Bernie Sanders did make it, would he make it the whole four years? Because he was like he about to. He's not about to kneel over, over yeah. So I'm like, jinx, double jinx. in the grave. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's very. I, I agree with some of his views, though. I yeah. The, my thing is again, I haven't been following it that much this year. I, I kind of go up and down as far yeah. as keeping up with shit. But um, my one of my main things is the war shit. Yeah. And if any, I've heard or I've read that he's down with like bombing shit and like, yeah. I'm like against all that shit I'm like super anti fucking cause I know the motives yeah, yeah. Aren't, aren't really I'm, unfortunately here. man with, with what's going on right now I don't want us to get into a war but with this whole serious situation more than likely yeah we're gonna but, get, but have you read about like uh, the drone strikes man yeah when the, with the drones they have like one target like there's it's, this isn't this is a fact this is like a number that 98% of the casualties or just innocent people, just to get one dude, they're bombing the shit out of like these towns. Yeah. Kids are dying, babies, everybody, just to get one dude. No judge, no jury for, yeah. for one. For two, the, most of the casualties are like innocent people just to get one guy. Yeah, I don't they, agree they with just, that. And they, they, they do what's called like a, like a, not double tap, but double something. Yeah. Where like they circle back around because they go back to go, you know, help their, the victims. Yeah. The families go back and then and the drone comes back. Boom, bombs again. And like most of the, Victims of drone strikes are fucking innocent people. So I'm like yeah. super against all that shit. Because it's easy for us over here. We're disconnected. So we're like. Yeah, we don't know. We're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, you know, we got to do what you got to do. Yeah, bitch. Would yeah. you like your fucking house getting bombed, bitch? For yeah, no you have a point. It's just that, you know, certain people want their cake and eat it too. They, they don't want us to go in. But the drone strikes are like, oh, innocent people. But then they don't want us to go in. Yeah. So either way, honestly, like. Yeah, let, well, because. It's, it's but tough, the, man. It's not for. My, my point is. Question the motive. Yeah, I understand. Is it for freedom or is it? Is there some money behind it? If you honestly believe that these fuckers give a fuck, the people that run the fucking world, that if you honestly believe that they give a shit about your freedom, that's it's a little weird. It's to me, it's obviously always money motivated, power motivated. Everything. There's, there's always something that you know, like I say, I know there's 
there's some certain things we'll probably never fathom on this. Yeah, no, I don't have all the answers, but I yeah, I know I, what you're trying to say but though. Do you think these guys care about us? <laughs> like, fuck no, dog. Yeah. But yeah, the, the the podcast is getting a little too serious. We got yeah, back no, in. huh? It's getting way, <laughs> we're getting down. all political and shit. And <laughs> no, but it's cool because we never get political. That's ourselves. good though, man. So it's good to see that. The, the Otis Hicks episode is the, the political one. The, yeah. <laughs> see, what, see what these black guys do, man. <laughs> <laughs> I never had, have, I had, have I had black people on this shit before. Let me see. <clears throat> but you're not full black. You're black Regan. Black Regan. I've had Da from the Giants. He's a brother. Nice. Uh, who else? Oh, Zeke. But he's mixed, right? He's black skin. He's black skin. Yeah, Who's Zeke, Zeke? Like the comedian also. Oh yeah, yeah. He How did was... you break into comedy here locally? Yeah, I went to one of the open mics, man. Open mics, yeah. always. Yeah. And I was so nervous. Jerry's for... or la- laughter nervous, hours. So. It was a, uh, at the time or was Sun City comedy. What it was, was it, it was laughter hours at first. It wasn't when, like uh... they weren't called after hours back then though. Gibbs, it was uh, Sun City. No, it was comedy. when it was when. Oh, when you came in, it was yeah. It, it was like everybody okay. was cool at that point. What was okay. that? It was like down at the some coffee shop down Percolator. At the Percolator. Oh, the there was still yeah. Sun City Comedy back then. Wow, he had that, that big, like, that had that like big logo ago, on his yeah. car. Yeah, he had the big logo on his car. Yeah, that, so it, it was Sam, Jibs, Adam, all of them were there at that point. And um, I met Adrian and Tony C. Man, they were cool guys. And I was really nervous, man. I drank. Yeah. Then Coffee House, they don't have no liquor, so I drank a lot of <laughs> fucking uh, sake. Yeah. So back then they had the beer license there because no, no, afterwards yeah. they did. No, yeah. he said he drank sake. Oh, he drank sake. I, liquor I, shit. I wanted liquor, so I don't drink beer. Oh, so they right, had some right, but sake. Right. So yeah, I got all had the beer license. I got all sakeed up, and I was and I was like, yo, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna go up. I was nervous. Like I'll do it tomorrow. And then all my friends end up showing up. Oh, and I was like, fucking, nah, I gotta go up. Nice. And I went up there. I did okay, man. I kept saying, you know what I'm saying after. You know what I'm saying? Every, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like nah, I mean? Black, <laughs> black fried chicken. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh-huh. all, all, all of a sudden, he wasn't uh, saying, uh, uh, pronouncing, pronouncing the fucking words right. <laughs> yeah. He, went, he had to revert back to the roots. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I was nervous, you know man. Was but they were, like the, the, the group of comedians I was around were all positive. They were like, hey, man, keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. They've always been cool. Uh, Israel. I think you know who Israel is. One bad comic, that dude was so supportive. Like he's like, "Hey man, I met him. I don't know." He's like, "You, you and then Ralph oh. Molina and all those guys were the so ones supportive." I've met, man. The ones I've met that I know are, uh, of course, Jerry Gib- yeah, Gibbs. Does he say Gibbs or Jibs? Jibs. Jibs. Because uh, I know him as fucking Jose or Gibran. It's yeah, Gibran. Yeah. But I know him through a dude. El Paso's so small. This dude, I would hire him to do graphic design. Like he would do my flyers. Yeah, he's I knew he it. did comedy, but I would hire him to do flyers. Yeah. He's a badass graphic designer. So, and then like the comedy shit, but I, I talked to him because he used to work at ADP. I used to work at ADP. Oh, okay. So, you know, there was that connection too, but now I would see his car with the big old graphic on it. But the ones I know is him, Jerry, Zeke, uh, Al Lada. That's Al. Yeah. Uh, so I only know a few of them, man. Because so, everybody can, one time somebody Mando confused Z. me and Zeke as the same person. <laughs> Well, you don't walk funny like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I was like, what the no fuck? Fucker, hey, no you're the guy. No fucker walks like C3PO and shit. Yeah, man. The thing is, is like, we, <laughs> we, we do a show at Jack's Beach House, man. And they, they guess he made an Asian joke. And the Asian, the guy that owns Jack's Beach House is Asian. Yeah. All for real. So, yeah, he goes up to me like, hey, man, you're the guy that makes all the Asian <laughs> jokes. I'm like, nah, man. That's, that's, that's Zeke, dude. Oh, yeah, you guys look. No, hey, come on, hey, man. He, hey, Shout out to Zeke, though. Go, go ahead. My bad. No, no, it's cool. Go. Okay. Shout out to Zeke, but it's because he has a condition. Like, he. It's called, well, look, look at the episode I did with him. The name of the title, it's called Awful Guy Poses. <laughs> but the name of this condition is o- Awful Guy Poses. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the name yeah, of his okay. condition. Like, his muscles never grew. Like, so he's kind of, like, locked into this, and right. he doesn't have muscle. Like, but it's a real thing. In a weird yeah, it's way. a weird, it's, uh, but he makes fun of it, too. Like, he uses that as his material. Yeah, you know what? He's yeah. hilarious. He's a hilarious dude. I told Zeke to his face, I think he just. I think he's fooling people because he'll, he'll walk <laughs> he'll walk straight to some pussy though. He'll, 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 <laughs> all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden he's like, "All right, girl, oh, when hey, I go there, hey, what's up? I'm like, just, are you walking straight? Like, that's, that's what? That's the homie though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love him, man. He's, that's my boy. He's though. a big old freaking nerd. Yo, oh so yeah, gamer, man. cosplay, all that shit. Oh yeah, man. He's a, like, I'm a, I'm a sort of a geek, so I'm sort of the same way. Sort of. Oh, you are. Yeah, I'm a uh, Dragon Ball Z shit. So me I'm too, all but geeky. he's he's hardcore fucking. Oh yeah, but he gets more ass than me. He went to walk and shit. Gets gets more pussy than I ever will. It kind of seems like the El Paso, like if you're ever trying to break into anything here, like the El Paso hometown boys, like the people running the stuff are always really welcoming. So after you were accepted into the comedic scene, did you like start to take it more serious and start to put more material together? And yeah. Like, all day, you started getting more gigs out of that? It just, it just, kind of, it just kept working, man. I kept hitting up all, I still do. Because I'm just barely like a fucking work in progress. So hmm. I just keep hustling, man. I love to do it. It's not something that has worked for me, man. 
So I just kept doing my thing, and everybody realized this motherfucker keeps going up. This big headed son of a bitch. That's that's the key. Just yeah, consistency keeps going up. Just trying to reach out to Albuquerque. Yeah, regional. You've you've gone out of town. Yeah, sure. yeah I'm going out of town. That's one of my little yeah. questions yeah. I would ask you too. But when, when I first met Jerry, the same thing. Cause Jerry, you know, he's blunt. So Jerry yeah. was like, "Hey, man, no, too blunt. you're funny, dude." Like, oh man, thanks for letting me up. Hey, fucker, I wouldn't let you up if you weren't funny. So don't <laughs> thank me. I was like, all right, man, cool. But he was blunt like that, and I yeah, respected yeah. that. Oh yeah, that's always best. Yeah. Can you think of one of the like in those early days of the open mics, uh, maybe like a joke that did it that bombed or anything like that? Oh, it was one dude that was talking about like uh, he was talking about transsexuals and rape, and like the crowd just it was like a weird hush. And nobody <laughs> said nothing. He was all like, I had trannies, and I was with a tranny. I didn't even know she had a dick. It was bigger than mine. And everybody was just like... I think I know who you were talking about. And I was just looking at it. That's the first time he ever went up, and that was the last time he think he ever went up. Because everybody <laughs> was just sitting there like... It wasn't even funny. Everybody was just shocked, and it was kind of disturbing. Yeah, like going too hard for the shock value. Yeah, and he kept talking about like kid rape and shit, and everybody oh. was just kind of like this. <laughs> Yeah, dog. You surprised he didn't get his ass whooped after the show? Like somebody even whooped his ass. <laughs> kid rape. Yeah, it was. I was just looking the at this dude like, what approach. the? F- yeah, I was like, what the fuck, dog? Like, wasn't he? If you're gonna be like, I don't want people being racist when they do jokes, but at least be funny with yeah, it. Yeah. Like, if you're gonna offend is, me, be funny. Yeah, be funny. Yeah. Like, don't do the usual yeah. black people. Fried chicken, yeah, Kool Aid, great Jolly Ranchers. Come shit. on, come on, man. Be and it's, I, this time I do open mics and motherfuckers that look at me. They're bombing and they go. That black guy. Black, yeah, you're black. You probably have a big penis, huh? I'm like, this what don't That's use okay. me to save yourself, dog. Play it out. Yeah, dog. Just, if you're eating a dick up there and you ain't doing so hot, <laughs> just take it, man. I take it. I don't go to hey, uh, you're from Czechoslovakia, huh? You like uh <laughs> shooting AK 47 Germany, huh? right? You like puking in your <laughs> boy shorts. <laughs> you like that poop porn, huh? <laughs> you like getting peed on, don't you? You're from Germany. You're from huh. Thailand, you met your wife at a glory like, hole. <laughs> <laughs> you like that two girls in a cup, huh? <laughs> For real, I man. Say, huh? Like a fucking juvenile. Huh. I kind of like it, man. It sounds sexy a little bit. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> You're so gorgeous. This is amazing. Hey, when I did, I've only done stand up twice and then I got into. You've you done know, some, stand-up? Yeah, dog. Yeah, I got into trouble. I, can't, I have a curfew now, so, you know, whatever. I'm going to get back on it once my shit, once my oh, shit's okay, over. Word. But the first time it was at Coconuts, four minutes. And then the second time was at Eleanor Rigby's. I did like eight minutes. Oh, yeah. That's a rough uh, room right there. Which one? The Rigby's. That's a rough room. For me, the it rougher was. rougher one was, it was rougher. I had a better time. At, well, because not to be whatever, but I, I, I did well. Yeah. But the four minutes, I didn't care if anybody laughed. My thing was, can I just do it? You know there what I mean? Go. Can I get through this shit? Yeah. But I mean, if you rehearse your shit so many times and you go up, it's, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I have exactly. experience being on stage anyways. Not, I'm, not, I'm not a natural I'm, by no means. I fucking get nervous too, but that's why I didn't invite anybody because there, there was a high chance of me like fucking flaking and being <laughs> bitching out at the last minute because people ask me, how come you didn't tell me? No, because there, like there was a chance at the last minute I'm going to bitch out and go, go home. That's how I do when I'm going to sing karaoke. <laughs> but uh, four minutes, uh, fuck yeah. It, the thing at Coconuts, because you know, you're a comedian. Yeah. When you do bars, all of these are bars, like half, Sometimes more than half, sometimes less than half of the people that are there aren't don't give a fuck about the comedy. Yeah, they're not there. They're yeah. they're, they're drink. They're not gonna stop talking. They're talking. Yeah. So when I went on, ninety percent of the people were just talking. They were just they don't give a yeah, fuck. Only like the comedians were paying the, paying attention to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, but but that first time I didn't care. Like I just wanted to do it. I didn't care if you laughed or not. But I did get some laughs. Yeah. Uh, when I did the eight minutes, that was. The, there was a little concentrated little crowd in front, and then the people, you know, in Eleanor Rigby's in the back that weren't paying attention, but their talk wasn't loud to, that, that to interfere, just, yeah, to interfere and interrupt my shit. But no, that I guess I got some laughs, you know what I'm saying? But that's yeah, cool. You fun. had the balls to go up. Yeah, that's, that's the first part having yeah, the balls. Yeah. They were like watching UFC on the TVs, but they were hearing the jokes, so they'd laugh, but they're looking over here. Watching yeah, UFC. that's good though. When you get that response, that's good, man. <laughs> yeah. So because the hardest part is to get somebody that wasn't there for it. And when somebody turns around and looks at you and goes like, this motherfucker, yeah, they it's down, funny. Down. That's when you yeah, did a good job. I love that when I'm doing my jokes and somebody that wasn't yeah. there for the shit gets turned around like this. But it's also <laughs> easy to get hung up on that early success. Oh, I'm the man. Nah, fuck that. Now nah, I get back to writing. Yeah, dude. Because one thing I love about coconuts, it humbles your ass. Yeah. Coconuts humbles you. Why like, is that? Because like, it just humbles you. listening to you. Yeah. There's hecklers there too. Yeah, like, you, you can go in there and fucking have a nice fucking night. You're like, oh, everybody's paying attention to me. And then in, the next week, yeah, nobody gives a fuck. Okay. Yeah, no, They're not fuck. even listening. There's hecklers. Jerry got a fucking bottle thrown at him. <laughs> yeah, Jerry got a bottle thrown at his ass. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it's a rough room. That's, that's time, why I chose that one. I wanted my first time to be there on purpose. Yeah. What do you mean your first uh, 
My first time, yeah, 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 I wanted it to be there on purpose because yeah. it's a rough ass room. It is, man. Yeah. It, it builds you up, though. How did you, how did you feel like when you worked the crowd? Did you, did you think you did a good job? Did I feel like I did all right. My did thing you get was, some laughs? Did you feel really yeah, I got laughs. Uh, I rehearsed a million times, really, so that the fucking shit will flow. Yeah, because people that preparation is key. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. But I can tell like Jesus has a like outgoing personality. Yeah, I you know what I'm saying. I, I grew up super socially awkward. Yeah. Ecstasy brought me out of my cell. <laughs> <laughs> I was a late bloomer on the party shit. No, seriously. I was super socially awkward, shy. You start doing some psychedelic shit. And then you, like you open those doors of perception, quote unquote. And like even after you sober up, you're like a different person already. Right? You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Some fucking, it's like, yeah, I'm not alcohol. What are you talking about? about? You do some fucking, don't put some, my shit out here. You do some fucking psilocybin. You do some fucking <laughs> lysergic acid. And you're going to be... You're a different person. So like that shit helped me get out of my shell. Yeah. But then there's there's getting out of your shell and then there's after that honing those skills. Like exactly. now you're out of your shell, cool. Yeah. You're not shy anymore. But you're just all over the place blabbing. Hone it and you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like know how to talk to people. So I'm not a natural at all. It's like I'm trying to see I'm hoping I'm not repeating what I because I did a podcast last night. Yeah. Because like we're talking about this too. But Jerry Rice said, uh, I bet you I am repeating. Jerry Rice said they asked him, were you ever like nervous or scared? Because he's like the best receiver. Oh, yeah. Player. That's the GOAT right there. Uh, he's like, yeah, that's why. Like, I was so afraid of sucking that I fucking prepared to the fucking T. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so much because I was afraid of looking bad. Yeah. Exactly. So that's me. Some people have their cockiness to be like, yeah, whatever. No. Like, I, you know, I feel like I'm going to fucking bomb every time. I feel like I'm going to suck at everything. So I make sure I'm like, I prepared like a motherfucker job interviews yeah. comedy whatever it is yeah, then, you're right, and man. then boom you go out and like it flows better when you prepare like a motherfucker yeah the dj like if you really fucking pregnant like, i don't i don't you know on your skills shit. yeah man it's good because he's a <laughs> badass he's the natural badass some I'm people not, have a natural, not natural yeah. anything so i have to prepare like a motherfucker so yeah. when i did my set it flowed awesome got a few laughs but i got through it that's that's all that matters that's all yeah, that exactly matters. Man. just getting through it like no arms no arms no oh what do i say it was like hey i have a good question good. You have yeah. the black stormtrooper on your arm? No, I have fucking. This is Darth Vader, dog. Oh yeah, the black stormtrooper. That's that's his other name or what? So <laughs> is that what you call him? He dies in the no. Movie there's a black. Any... There's an actual black stormtrooper. He's oh, like, there is. Yeah, this guy is all black stormtrooper. This oh, is no, Darth no, Vader. Oh, I call him the black. It's stormtrooper. supposed to be a fucking joke, listeners. This is uh referring to my tattoo. It's a memorial <laughs> memorial tattoo for Darth Vader. R.I.P. in old English. R.I.P. With uh, Darth Vader's face and the Death Star in the back, but there's a dove. Like, my idea was this Darth Vader by itself with R.I.P., but like, Miker was like, no, let's put, let's put a dove in there. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Miker. Shout out to Sensei so Tattoo tight. Saragossa. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> he's my boy, but the artist, he's like, let's put a dove. For That's no nice reason. work, though. It's nice work. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. Yeah, man. it's my newest one. Oh, is it? How old is uh, it? Only uh, like six months. Oh, all right. Okay. Nice. And there's uh, the cheeseburger. Ah, you know you really keep a cheeseburger on your arm, man. It's a cheeseburger tattoo. Keep a cheeseburger on. And then I have, and then I have the scar from. Yeah, that's a rapper. People think it's Texas. Shape of Texas. People think, yeah, we should have done that probably. No doubt. But it's a rap. That's Micah's idea. I just want a cheeseburger. But he's. And then you have a. What is that above it? A little like. It's just hard for me to believe that his suits was shy at one point. Like right now, it is hard as fuck to believe that you were shy at one point. I got no pussy in high school. Like I got maybe once. I think I got laid once. I would talk to nobody. Like, girls would hit on me sometimes. All right, question. Still, I'm going to ask you a question. Like, no, get away. Oh, I want to ask you a question. When did you lose your virginity then? When, when I lost I it at a decent me. age. The better question is, when's the next time I had to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost, oh I, I, I had to ask okay, that question. Since you're asking the question, we're going to yeah. tell that story because it's all about stories on this show. Yeah. The When I lost, I've never even told this, not recorded. Yeah. Wow. This was, again, super shy guy. I'm 16. We, the guys I would hang out with back then, we got invited by some girls to just a little kickback. There's like a, there's a, there's an extra girl. So, hey, Jesus, come, <laughs> come through. There's a girl. I'm like, I have no idea what this person looks like. And then like the one that was meant for me, I guess either. She I didn't, I didn't like else. any of them, but she liked my boy, but I didn't like any of them to be honest. But the one that was, so now that there was another one left over. Yeah. She was cute, but not super cute, but the body was there. But this dude, I'm like, I'm. So I'm a late bloomer, dog, big time. Like, whoever's listening to this, I'm a, people think I'm lying because they think like you. Like, no, you can't yeah, picture me shy. I can't. I'm like, I was there. She, This chick, a 14-year-old, pulls me into the bedroom, and she uh, 
I'm like, oh, cool. How old are you at the time? Yeah, I was 16. I right, state that. All right, cool. 16. She's 14. She's nice. pulling me. She's pretty much every relationship I've been in is the girl, even to this day, the girl yeah, hitting me up. Nice, like, dude. Cause I'm, cause they, but it's not like pimp shit. It's more because, man, this motherfucker, I'm getting tired of waiting for this fucker to make a move because he's a puss. <laughs> I don't know. Like, they hit way. me up. So, anyways, 14 year old drags me in there. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm gonna make out. Ah, this bitch is on a mission. Like, she basically raped me. Like, <laughs> like, like, we're making out. I'm totally satisfied with just that. You like stuff? <laughs> I was like, all satisfied with just making out. Yeah. And nah, this chick's like taking her clothes off. I'm like, what? Okay, cool. Second, third base. I'm thinking it's just going to be second, third base shit. Oh, awesome. No, like, she's like, no, she wants to do I, I can imagine everything. It. I can imagine she's like, what are you, stop, what are you doing? Just stop. Like Michael Jackson. You're like, going too far. Have you heard that story about Michael Jackson? Like, when it was uh, Tatum, what's her name? That From that Tatum family that Oh, Ch- Tatum Cheney. But like, the, no, the early Tatum, though, that really pretty girl from the 80s movies. Anyway, she was trying to like, you know, rape him. And he was like, he would just giggle. She said, yeah, I already knew this guy was weird and different because I was trying to like pull his pants off and he would just, <laughs> and wow. Jackson, yeah. So anyways, uh, so yeah, those are coming off. And yeah, we're, we're getting down. Yeah. And most people's stories are like, oh, I came quick because it's my first time. No, I didn't even come at all because I was, I think it was nerves. So I was going forever and my nerves would not let me fucking probably, fully enjoy it. Yeah, your penis couldn't believe what was happening. Like, yeah, okay, we're getting exactly. ass right now. It got like froze up and, I just, <laughs> and she was like, even though she was being very forward and whatnot, yeah. she was probably also, a lot of it's kind of fake. Like I just need, I feel like I need to be like this person, this slut or whatever, but but she probably wasn't about that life. So she was complaining about not, I'm not saying, oh, I'm like super huge, but she was young. So she was complaining about like pain and shit. Mm. So we just stopped. But it was like, we went for a while and like nothing happened. I, I didn't even have a fucking orgasm, dog. Because it was just, I was Did so she nervous. Have an no, she was, she, was, she was in pain. She was dry. She was not, nah, she wasn't dry, but she was in pain. Oh, okay. And then I was fucking nervous was, as was fuck. Was that her first time as well? Do you know I, don't, do you I, don't, think, I don't think so. Because she was fucking she was raping me, dog. Ass. A 14 year old raping my ass. Your second so, time. Uh, like the better question is, when's your second time? Many years, many years, many years later, I had no action, dog. For Sixteen, real. I ain't bone again till I was like 21, 22 Damn, dude, man, you had like the same problem. Then after that, know. then it was you know it's been. I didn't have persistent. sex. Till I was twenty four. Fuck out of here! You serious? Lying, <laughs> fucking lying ass, my fuck. There's no fucking way, dude. And then, but the but the bad thing I get like you nobody believes me like I tell yeah. girls no like I'm not that dude I'm not that player you see me on Facebook with girls they're my friends like so when I hooked up with that second girl when I was like literally seven years later <laughs> I would tell her no I've only had six months bitch it's like yeah whatever it's like all right well, fuck you then you're, like, you're, you're gonna see gonna you'll, you'll really see bad. you'll see how yeah. how, how much I suck <laughs> I, I hear you man you're like I'm the same way I only have sex like every lunar eclipse and shit <laughs> I wait, I wait for the Saturday Saturnalia. <laughs> Wait for the fucking <laughs> equinox. Uh, for real, like, oh shit, now it's time to get late. I just... Yeah, it's the equinox is coming. <laughs> <sing. laughs> I, I lost my virginity I never told 19, that story. So. 19. You never stole that story, huh? Yeah. Never told that story, not recorded. But That's cool, made, though, man. I only have sex when Mercury goes into retrograde. <laughs> 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 What's the, that word, retrograde? Also, there's also like a sexual, cl- like a term for, what's it called? <laughs> When you fucking like hold your shit when you're about to bust, you hold the base of it. And wow. you, you actually don't like nothing comes out. Yeah, you can make it go back in. There's, it's called retrograde. It's like it's like bending the water hose when you're a little kid and shit. Yeah. I get the water, bend this water hose real quick. I don't have the water to get out. I forget the term. But uh, no, yeah, dude. Like whoever's listening to this, this is these are true stories. Like I'm not, I'm a fucking geek, dog. Like big time. I'm the same like, way, man. Like this one, I'll tell you another story. Like this, this was probably like one of my favorite relationships. I mean, it ended, but it was. It was, it was pretty cool. Like, same thing. Like, I'm not going to say names, but this chick, she just got tired of waiting for me to make a move. And she's just like, she's like, we we made out once. And then she's she's the one that, like, asked for, like, a date or whatever. We were drinking at a bar. And then she, I'm like, okay. I give her a hug. And I'm going home. She's like, well, I'm kind of drunk. Can you follow me home? But she wasn't <laughs> drunk. You know what I'm saying? So I follow her home. And then... She goes in and comes back out like in sweat, like in her pajamas. But she lives with her parents. It's like, you want to come in? I'm like, oh shit! Like she wasn't like she just wanted to get me home because she just got tired of waiting for me to make a fucking move. <laughs> she takes me in. I'm just thinking we're again. At this point, I'm like in my late twenties. 
I'm still thinking we're just going to make out. <laughs> All I want to do is kiss you, girl. This, this bitch was trying I to know, like, huh? like, we ended up being coming boyfriend. That's and like, cool, really, though, that, we got serious, but like, she was trying to bone me. Like, she's that's sweet, though, man. You just like, a, a, like a kiss means a lot to you. Oh, yeah, yeah that's my shit. <laughs> so, so, are we like the nice guy? I'm not super nice, man. I can be a dick, but I'm not, but I'm not like the dude that's assuming that we're gonna fucking bone. I'm not yeah. trying to. I've never taken bitches home like a, a night, like the one night stands. I've never been that dude. I've yeah, done it a couple times, and I just yeah, felt weird. I've only done it a couple times either. So that guy, like, yeah, no, she's the one, like, pulling my shit off and, you know, going down there. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> That's like, I'm like 28 at this point. I'm still like, like a fucking 13 year old. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, dog. It's so, like, it's like, and she just tells me, like, yeah, I can do whatever you want. And I'm like, well, okay. And I just tell her, well, uh, just, I guess turn around. <laughs> like, all oh, nervous. My goodness. <laughs> Like parents are in the next room and her son's in the next room and shit. Like, yeah, it was bad. And then we be in, we ended up becoming, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend and shit. Nice man. Side. Oh, I can't. Nah, I can't tell that detail because it'll give away who it is. But, yeah, don't do that. But uh, I'll tell you off the air. <laughs> it's illegal, actually. I'll tell you off the air. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's funny. But yeah, and that, even that person, nah, I can't tell the detail either. <laughs> so yeah, I don't. I'll tell you the smooth. I was actually gonna post about this on Facebook. No, I'll tell say it like. We got so serious, but I was like, like I was like in a bad spot financially because I stopped doing certain things for money, illegal things. So, yeah, she, uh, so she was in a hurry to get married. She wanted to be married. <laughs> yeah, so she bought me a, an engagement ring. Whoa, <laughs> damn. A midnight cowboy, dude. Oh. Nah, Fine. dude, if a girl buys you a ring, I, I would rock yeah, it. Jiggle, I'd wear dude. it. Yeah, for real. You, you, got, some, you the... got some good D, dog. If a girl's going to buy you a ring, Back you got then some I good was. D. Back then I did. You, Not anymore. It's Daddy long I, stroke I, I, over. Asthma got you. See, I'm man. Past, I hate it big time. For real, I man. Tired. Come on, let's just watch movies. Like I can't believe you. Like, Jesus is Daddy long stroke at one point. <laughs> I was. But I trust their like their feedback. I don't know. But like, watch. I went to go. Like, here's the joke I tell. Like, watch. I used to... Like last year, I went to I was living in Dallas like a month and a half. Mm. Fuck, I, the details are gonna say who it is, but <clears throat> but anyways, I have like you know my ex girlfriend is out there. I went out there for a month and a half. She held me down. I quit. That's a long story. I quit my job. Blah blah blah. But like before I went out there, my friends would be like, "Oh shit, you're gonna be out there for a while." Damn, you're just gonna be fucking boning every day. Like you're pussy on tab. You're not gonna do shit. It's like I fucking hope not. I fucking <laughs> I gotta catch up on my fucking Sons of Anarchy or shit. Like, you know what I mean? like, I got a Netflix. Like I can't I'm so be. like I'm fucking 39 years old, bro. Like I still like yeah, I still want to bone, but like it's not my priority at all anymore. I'm like ah, oh. like yeah, you're gonna be boning every day. Like I fucking hope not, dog. I kept I'm trying, to, <laughs> trying to watch some TV. Uh, I don't want to throw that energy yeah, towards that. Yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> no. I hope she doesn't make me have that much sex. All right, let's sit down and talk about her feelings. Can we do that? It's just maybe once every two weeks. <laughs> yeah, something. Like, he's yeah. like, it's just... Where we're at no, let's, let's watch some fucking Game of Thrones. That's it. Yeah, I don't like, want to talk about feelings. Let's watch some Game of Thrones. That's it. Can like, we go to your parents' house? I don't want to want to do this. You didn't give me. <laughs> you talking about like a dick? No. I'm talking, oh. I know what you're saying, but like, no. Why yeah. don't I just... the Game of Thrones. I want the Game of Bone. Uh, <laughs> but I want to just chill. Like, I'm yeah, not here trying to... Like it happens, trust me, guys. You're, it's gonna happen I'll, to you. You're gonna get to an age where you're like, you don't even care about that shit that much. I don't know about that, dude. It's gonna happen. Watch. Can we it's cook some happen. lasagna? What the fuck are we? Can we do that? It's gonna happen. I probably, you're right, probably right. I'm, I'm kind of getting there already. Uh, but, but I still. I'm just as old as you are. What are you about? Well, it happens. I mean, everybody has their own everybody biological has, yeah, shit. Yeah. But like, but I still like younger, way like way younger chicks. Yeah. For sure. But they're probably. like, but they get all disappointed and like, because I'm like. <laughs> No, let's just fucking let's just spoon like and talk. let's just spoon and watch fucking Sons of Anarchy or some fucking something. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> some ice cream. Yes. Yeah, Can you go to Baskin Robbins? It's not about feelings. It's about like laziness. Like it's not. Yeah, about it's anymore. like just getting. There's a new flavor. It's like, Baskin no, Robbins. like it's I'll wait till you leave. I'll, I'll wait till you leave and I'll, I'll pour and hub it up. You know, what I mean? like there's that too. Like what? guys always have that option. You know I don't have to like, get you hype. I don't have to like. Well, now you don't have to fucking. There's no. You're not to satisfy somebody else. Like, yeah. It's do my thing real quick. Go back. Go about my day. Again. Yeah, I mean, every guy's done that. Where we like, you go to the bar, you're not gonna get any ass. So you're like, well, well fuck, I don't need you guys. So you just go ahead and you pour hard up. But when I was younger, yeah, I was. I'll, 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 I'll tell this story too. This is how. But when we're when we're younger, all of us are good, man. We're good at both. Most of us. But here's the story. This is what confirms it. Because I was like, I hope I'm good, but you never know if your girl's lying to you. 
this this is a story i can't it's a bad story but i was dating this one girl and i felt like you know i was doing a, i would do a good job but confirmed it is one night i was uh in her house and she wasn't there and i'm taking a dump and then like i see like a little notebook on the side like a little pretty notebook and i'm like i need this is before smartphones you didn't like we're on facebook and taking a shit this is before <laughs> that so i needed some reading material because i was going to be there for 30, 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, reading, I was like, holy shit, this is a diary <laughs> shit. So it's this chick's diary. And sure enough, oh my God, is this fucking he's, so the, good? he's the fucking best I ever had. Nice. He took Drake, me in that Drake, fucking, Drake wrote a song after he, you. He, took that, he took me in that restroom of that nightclub right there and, uh, in that lobby of the apartment complex. He just took me like public nice. shit. And she's like, he's the best I ever had. And this chick's not, she's no stranger to Wiener. Like, yeah. she's not, she's, she's, she's done her thing. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, oh, they're not lying. I was good at some point. <laughs> nice. But those days are gone, ladies, if you're listening. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I, but I'm honestly, now. I'm going to ask you, you a question, dude. You yourself really well real quick. Dude. Yeah, I'm I mean, horrible I, I, now, though. But honestly, like, when you read that shit and you were taking shit, you just look at your dick like, yeah, I know we did this together. I so winked at you, it. So I did like this, like that. Like the <laughs> Like me and you, buddy. No thumbs up. Give me a little, little hug, little. Like, yeah. give me a little wink, dog. Give me a little yeah. wink. I made him, I made him wink. <laughs> Pinch it. Yeah, That's dog. Cool though, man. That's but cool. that was then. This is now. Like, nah, it's not. I'm not like that anymore at all, guys. <laughs> not, like, if you're listening, don't don't come at me for that shit. <laughs> but, and, and Netflix, and so I got Hulu. I got my ex girlfriend's Hulu password. So you, you, you <laughs> so. <laughs> So with you, it's not Netflix and chill. It's just Netflix. Like we just go Netflix. It's just Netflix. Right? <laughs> hey, Netflix. I got some badass nah. documentary uh, suggestions for you. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna do the rest of the shit. And I'm gonna be the small spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna be the inside yeah, spoon. The inside yeah, I wanna be held. Have you guys seen that? The making of a murderer. I've been wild. I'm on episode three. I'm oh, late wow. on it. As yeah, matter of fact, I, I wanted to talk about it on this shit. Oh, I wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Got an episode two. I'm on episode two. Have you seen that shit? I have no Netflix. I'm just broke as a motherfucker right now. Dude, it's fucking nine dollars. Hey, I'm dead but I, broke. But have, have you heard about the show? I heard about it. Yeah. Making it's a little, truly shh, it's insane, fucking dude, crazy. Man. Yeah? Is that good? It's about, oh, burp. It's about, uh, damn, man. This, how, do, how do we break it down? You break it down. Otherwise, have you seen, um, you break it down. have you seen uh, Trailer Park Boys? Yeah, that's a, that's a classic, man. <laughs> it's kind of classic. Kinda like, it's kind of like <laughs> that. <laughs> so, in a sense of like, <laughs> <That's laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, it, like from the north. Where, I'm they, where are they from? Where, where's that dude? Where do they live at? Trailer Park Boys is Canada. No, not, not Trailer Oh, the, there was. They is were, that Milwaukee were, that they're in or something? They were like in the Midwest or South. Somewhere over there. Anyway, yeah. anyway, anyway. Oh, Green Bay. Like, oh, like, was it? It was Wisconsin somewhere. Because they had that This guy, I mean, it's just a wild story. I'll just sum it up real quick. Not to give too much away. It's basically. This guy was hemmed up for. I mean, he he caused. He did a couple of like weird. He was, was a weird dude. Yeah, he did some weird little like really. It's because he's slow. He's a little yeah, little he has like a very low, low, super low IQ, and he did a couple of odd like, like crimes. He, he got busted. He for burned them. a cat alive. He, he burned a cat there. alive. He like his cousin would drive by his house, and they had some sort of beef. And he would jack like, off, like she would pass away, he'd jack around, it like, off in front of her. And, and so he was a weird of, dude. A bunch, of, a bunch of weird shit, he drove her off the road, but she was married, well, she was married to the, the sheriff or something, right? The one, I, no, it was, a, it was a chick that spread a rumor around that, no, that supposedly was cousin. wasn't true. That was his cousin. Was that his cousin? Yeah, but wasn't she like somehow like dating someone in the... It's oh, one of that small town shit. It was some yeah. small town but, stuff. but this chick, according to him, it wasn't true. They circulated, that masturbating shit wasn't true. She oh, was telling yeah. people that... Because he's an easy target and there's bullies in the world. Let's assume this guy's telling the truth. He was a fucking yeah. easy target. He was, she was telling people that he would expose himself and like whack off when she would drive by or something like that. So he got so mad. I kind of believe him. Because he, he got so mad that it wasn't true that he ended up one day running her off the road and was like, what the fuck, man? That, that's yeah. Shit. So he got in trouble for that. And that was true. But because of that, that chick, later on, somebody got raped. Is that what it was? It was like it was like somebody, so, got, somebody raped, got raped, and it but was like that person was somehow related to that. Oh, chick. That's, that's what it so was. So they they all ganged up on him. Like, I, I no, know. the person that got, the person that got raped didn't, was like she was like high yeah, up in the community, and she and like, she oh. didn't know who did it. Like she described the person. So, but they, but she's related or friends with these people that yeah. have beef with this dude. It's like, oh yeah, I think it sounds like you're describing this dude when when she wasn't. So they wow. just they had to get somebody. So they, got, they the, got this dude yeah, because they, he had beef with this bitch already. Wow. Well, they they kind of like it, they, 
I mean, you know what I'm saying? In, in reality, the backstories they they set the motherfucker up. They but, set him up, but because I mean, they, they, they had a dude, they had a guy. They it was so crazy. Oh, that was... They look similar. It was like this, and then the guy that um that actually committed the crime. They had reports of him giving some sort of confession, and they withheld they withheld a bunch of. They withheld a bunch of. You have to watch it. I don't want to give away too much either. No, it sounds intriguing. That's what you guys talking about. But they targeted this dude, not thinking that it's gonna blow up, and of course, not thinking it's gonna end up on Netflix later on. Like they just fucking framed this guy big time, like bully shit. Like let's just pin it on the fucking retard of the town. Yo, but long story short, dude dude did eighteen years, and and he drew drew a shitload of attention to himself. Finally, the DNA. They, like the DNA test had um had been more evolved than they were in the like in 1986 when he got um uh indicted and sentenced to prison. So in the, in the years, 90s like, they were like for up. years, for years, for years, for years they were trying to like gather inf- information. Uh, but are we are we, doing, are we doing spoilers though here? I, know, <laughs> I mean everybody's already seen it except for, except for me. <laughs> bro. I actually got just fucked it up. They just, just, just messed it up for Otis and shit. No, no, like. there's more to it. Let's stop there. <laughs> Let's so you stop. can enjoy no, it. No, but it, no, it, it gets crazier. You guys are like really intriguing. It gets now. crazier like, though. There's another twist to it. So watch it. Why is that Netflix yeah, now? Yeah. I'll, I'll get that shit just for you, what you guys are talking Dude, about. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've it's been here insane. tomorrow. It's making noise. Like a yeah. yeah. It's, it gets crazier. Damn. Like, like, they they, they pin a fucking murder on his ass. They're like, dude, they just like hate it that. It gets why, crazier. Why do they crazy. hate him so much? It's, I feel bad for the kid. It was. It's, 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 it's bullying to a fucking millionth degree. Oh, my God. It's, it's this fucking mighty whitey and it's redneck shit. Yeah, and like, it's insane. Oh, you, you dared to defy us and like stand up to us? You know, do you, do you know who we are? You know, like that small yeah. town. Yeah, like, yeah. Power tripping. Exactly. You dare to fucking defy us. Just take what we, you're, yeah, it's you. Take your time and you dare to stand up to us. Yeah. Now we're going to fucking show you what's up. You dare to stand up to us. Well, now you're a fucking document, docu, docu-series on fucking Netflix, bitch. But Damn. these fucking motherfuckers, it's white on white shit. You know what I'm saying? It's white weird. on white. <laughs> it's fucking redneck yeah, shit. But it's, 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 not about, it's not about race. It's about... Power, so, like control. small, like but small Weird. thinking. Yeah. We're the power, powerful people here in this rinky-dink town. Yeah, and yeah, we tell you what you're guilty of and what you're not guilty of, and you're fucking slow, so just take it. But, but they the didn't sh- take it. They the fought sh- back. The shitty thing is that when they didn't get the right guy, he went and committed more crimes. Yeah, because they imprisoned uh, the wrong guy, the one that was guilty. He raped a couple. Yo, of and the dude, the dude wow. that was guilty had like a weird like thing where he would just like whip his dick out in front of chicks and start to jack off, and then he'd like assault them. <laughs> so he like you'd be like walking on the beach like oh what a beautiful day and then this Some fucking guy. crazy guy would jump out in front of you whip out his fucking burro and start like stroking it and then like jump on you oh, like, yeah. I would never assault anybody but what the it's good to know that I'm not on? the only one that just jumps out and whacks himself <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the assaulting part I just do the exploding <laughs> I just jack off in public I just I don't Damn, jack off but there's been times I've been I've been <laughs> I get all crazy I do avoid my shit just to be fucking stupid and funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? The? Oh my goodness! I'm like, I'm like, like guilty. At least we have of, something in common. I'm guilty of like fucking peeing in public, like everywhere. Like I even have a ticket for it, like in the yeah. weirdest places in the fucking world. Yeah, it's so passive. I think everybody pees in public, guys. Dude, middle of the street, I'm boys do that shit all the time. He's got middle of the street and piss and shit. I've had a ticket <laughs> over that shit. I'll call it. Okay. You guys continue. I remember that shit. So yeah, everybody pees in public out here in El Paso. It wouldn't be El Paso I without think it. That happens everywhere. Yeah, pretty about much. Peeing, peeing under the stars, man. There's something. There's something about it. Well, my dad always told me like it, 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 a man ain't a man unless you like pee outside your porch and shit. So you ain't a man until you piss outside your porch. You gotta do it, man. There's every once in a again, you know. I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting pissy, and I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go outside. There's a restroom there for sure, but I'm gonna go out there and, and pee next to the bulldog and. Yeah, you, you feel you feel more like a man when you're pissing in the bush. I don't know what it is. Your man comes out, your balls get a little slightly bigger. Hey, what do you think about El Chapo? <laughs> that shit was actually funny because there's more shit attached to it that fucking uh, Sean Penn was interviewing and <laughs> shit. shit. I was laughing so hard. I was Yo, like, what the fuck? Up. Yo, Chapo gets for the, for the gram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, yo, Chapel gets taken in, and all of a sudden, Sean Penn side of it, like, <laughs> yeah, that's like, real? like, what the, the fuck is going on? Here? And and they're saying like, the picture of the yeah, the, one, the most wanted man in the, the world. thing is, I heard that they knew that he was there, so they waited for Sean Penn to leave until he raided it and shit. That's what I heard. Well, money was already, Chapel was already gone though. Money had already split. He was out. He's like, was it? I know, I know, some shit's gonna happen. Like, yo, you know, I read that Sean Penn had to take like 
three fucking boats, two helicopters, and four yeah. planes to see Chapo. Yeah, I heard he destroyed every phone he used. He used fucking I mean, destroyed shit. I wonder if he's gonna get yeah. in trouble though, because that's illegal. Well, they but, said they're investigating. I know. Him. Yeah, because that's he's a. But he fucking, said fuck it, like I'm yo, gonna do Rolling it for. Stone, I, I gotta do it for the Rolling books. Rolling Stone paid for it. Oh, for real? That's what really. Yo, you don't know the story. I so Chapo gets arrested. I guess it's like two or three days after. Rolling Stone comes out and the cover story is Sean Penn interviews Chapo. Because this is a story the that came out fuck? yesterday, right? This is, so yeah, I've been, like I've been, I've been in like, zombie status the past yeah, couple yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's fucking crazy though. It's no, I think it, I think it broke Friday. You know what I'm saying? Because I think yeah. that, that Rolling Stone came out on Friday. I'm not really sure. Uh, he might be in trouble though. Yeah, because I and I think who hooked it up was that novella chick. I forgot her oh, name. Oh, she's yeah. in trouble too. I yeah, because she hooked it up the meeting and shit. So I was like, damn, she's fine. I oh, yeah, yeah. But she was like, she plays a fucking drug person or something like an old I don't know that much about her like I'm still like yeah she plays an old kingpin like she sold drugs and shit trapped so I'm like just how the fuck you know El Chapo and shit you know <laughs> yeah. like, you, you're that's like that's how she did the research for yeah shit, I was like she I would, I would definitely bone her but I was just that tripping out on all that shit dude I was just tripping out like damn dude that's a weird story it that's is fucking oh I have to tell my, hard, my public dude. peeing story real quick though oh yeah, all right, yeah check this out this is like when I was like 22 and shit I don't give a fuck like alcohol is a a bit of a diuretic. Uh, this is back in the old school, like original 101, like Union Plaza 101. <laughs> I was out there with my girl and we walk out. I have to pee. So I pee. Like, I don't care. Like, I pee everywhere. Like, so I peeing and like right by the car, fucking cop rolls up. He's like, what the fuck? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, fuck, sorry, sorry. And, like, I had to pee. He's like, all right, I want to let you off for the warning and shit. Cool. Thank you. She's taking me home, going up Mesa. Like, we're getting to about where Rio Grande is, or in that area. I have to pee again, man. <laughs> so, like, you pull over out the piss. She pulls over into some parking lot. Like, it's wide open. Everybody, you can see him. And I'm pissing. Cop rolls up on me. Another cop rolls up on me. Damn. And then I, he, come, he gets out of the car. It's the same fucking cop. From the first time, <laughs> I don't know about you, know, dude. What what I, the have fuck? Tell you, I had to look. Like, it's like, what the fuck? Did I just fucking stop? Like, for the bus just for peeing? Thing? It's the same cop. Oh my lord! He's like, Maybe tell you, officer. Bro. So take it, motherfucker. <laughs> Boom! No. Right? That's twice within like within fifteen minutes. Damn. <laughs> It was the same cop. It's like, didn't I just fucking see you pissing? I, you know, you honestly, I think he trailed you because he wanted to see your penis. I think he no, was like, you know what, that guy, I gotta get, I gotta get mm, a twitcher of it. Following me, <laughs> she's like, see if I can <laughs> catch him peeing again. <laughs> For real, dude, because nobody, I only got stopped by like a cop twice, but that's weird. I guess because I'm like throwing the race thing in there, but my headlight went out and I was driving up Vitravino. I got stopped on Vitravino and uh, Montwood. Mm. The cop stopped me. Then I go like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go up the street." So I went to Vitravino Le- and the fuck is this street? Pebble Hills, Edgemere. Edgemere. By the time I made it to Edgemere, I got stopped by a different cop. Oh shit! And I was like, "Hey man, I already got stopped by your boy for the headlight." <laughs> your yeah, boy? We know. No, yeah, that's what I said. He's like, hey, I already got stopped. Yeah, well, your headlights are like, yeah, your boy, your boy, your boy you stopped me like you know, like you know, a mile less than a half a mile back. He's like, yeah, we just checking up on you, make sure you change your headlight. I'm like, dude, what the oh, fuck? Let me shit. get home, motherfucker. <laughs> God damn. I got the ticket right here. You yeah. think with tent nobody would see my black ass, but apparently somebody did. <laughs> I was pissed off in the month. That's not true. Apparently everybody the tent doesn't work for black people. Like if you think like, hey, I don't know, I, I saw a shadow. I wasn't really sure who was in there. <laughs> Little silhouette. <laughs> it doesn't work. Like I think he's black as pull him over. And that's what happens sometimes. It's just fucked up. It's hilarious, man. But that, I wish I had a penis story, but I really don't have any. I as, I, as a black person, I should have a penis story, but I don't the, have any the penis story. penis story? I don't. I just don't have hey, any. Hey, talk about your out-of-town gigs. Oh, yeah, man. I, I had the privilege to uh, do the uh, Ontario Improv nice. in Cali, LA, right? man. Cali, right? Yeah, dude. So I was nervous. I, I have a thing where I sweat underneath my armpit really Holy bad. Shit. I can't wear any <laughs> I can't wear any gray shirts and that shit. Ugh. I gotta wear nothing but black shirts because I sweat. And I started doing like a little chicken dance. <laughs> So I like, fan myself down because I sweat so fucking you do much. The superstar one. Like- yeah, it's it's like that, dude. And I was really <laughs> nervous, and um, it was uh, Sam hooked it up for us, Sam Butler, and then Butler, yeah. and uh, Richard Butler. Vila and stuff like that. They hooked us up, man. And Richard Vila is like, I ain't kissing his ass or nothing. He's a charge of refried, but he's a beast, man. Like, and and <laughs> via dog via 
Via is Richard Via? I fucked when it up. Huh? Two L's. It's, it makes a Y sound. What right? did you say? What did he say? What did I say? Villa. Villa. I, that sounded like a straight like, up white like, dude, like, huh? Bob Villa. Bob Villa. Bob Villa. He's like just fucking. When you see two L's, <laughs> it makes a Y sound. Hey, you gotta forgive the innocent, man. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's poor, half Puerto Rican. Oh, like, I should know that, huh? He's like, you should. You should fucking <laughs> lost your. You lost your Boricua card, fool. Yeah. <laughs> Puerto Rican, Mexican. Got pulled online, dude. I just got called out, man. Richard. No, but he, he, he's the beast, man. So it was like. Nice. That's the uh, refrain comedy, right? Yeah, and, and and I had to follow him. All right. And he fucking just murdered. You it's like, him? yeah, he, he 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 killed it, dude. And I, <laughs> but I, in a way, I wanted it because it was like okay. you want to follow somebody that good because That's only it's only test. gonna make you better. Yeah. Even when I did the comedy competition for the after hours, it was like a uh, funniest to Southwest. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a night where it was. Um, you guys know Iggy. I know you guys know Iggy. Yeah, yeah. How Iggy, did you place on that one? Yeah, I, I didn't make it. It was, it was Iggy, Alex with the K. I don't know if you ever met him. Uh, and it I was is, and Jerry Carnes. And and it was Friday night, and nobody wanted to hit that night because it was all three of them, all heavyweights. Yeah. And I wanted it. I was like, you know what? If I can test myself against those guys. That's what you got to do. And I wanted it. And even Jerry afterwards was like, dude, I thought you had me. For real, I thought you had me there, dog. I thought I don't you know, see dog. Is. And I was like, no, nah, that's cool. He's like, no, nah, man, I thought you had me there, dude. Like for a minute, I thought you had me. <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, that's cool. But I lost. But it, but anyway, I wanted that challenge. I didn't want to go on a day where yeah, everybody picked set, set Sunday where nobody was. I wanted that day because th- I respect those guys. Who won that yet? George or what? It was um, George White. Yeah, right. George White won. That's my boy right there. I had uh, Rodriguez on the damn show. I yeah. Second place, right? He's beast mode right there. That dude was funny as fuck. So right. like all He's those guys. He's been on the show. Yeah, before. those guys are all beasts, so to go up against those guys. Who do you hang out with, man, as far as comedians? Like, who's your, who's your little, is, is it all, cl- is it, it's clicky, obviously. I, I, I see the online shit. Yeah, it, it does, I see man. Little beefs. I see little beefs. Yeah, but I don't, I really it's don't. Beefs. Yeah. It's comedy beefs, dog. Yeah, <laughs> it's you crazy. think it's like some, it's crazy. It's like some it's death row, it's like death row it's, bad boy shit back in the day. Is, but yeah. I, I don't get all into that, man. If you give me a stage, there's it's like empty. people like him that are like, Neutral, but there's like some people that have chosen us. Yeah, like, Yo, but me, uh, man, I'm I'm with, yeah. I'm with it was like, a couple of different camps. Yeah, and shit, but, but it was some, it was some yeah, it is, it is some shit. <laughs> but I, I have me personally. If you give me an empty stage and you get an opportunity to show myself, I'm gonna do my thing. Well, if, if, if you're performing all stage, you're gonna be empty, probably. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> I'm funny, man. You know what? You Back in the day, I would have. <laughs> you said empty stage. Well, well empty stage where no nobody there. You set yourself up. I didn't say an empty crowd. I said an empty stage. <laughs> oh, that's right. There I'm, you I'm, go. Hey, I'm drunk, man. <laughs> <laughs> like you said. He's like, I, I'm I drunk. I fucked my own joke up. Like, I, li- I, I thought I was being cool. I like no, Jesus. It didn't make sense. Like, it didn't make sense. Susan's like, I'm drunk, nigga. I don't know. It didn't make sense at all, Jesus. Where's the mirror? It didn't make sense at all. Nah, but if I have an opportunity, like to like, I love comedy so much. I love to go up on stage, and maybe somebody hasn't seen me before gets an opportunity. It, it, comedy is not an easy gig, and you know better than me, dude. It's like it's it's hard, dude. It's like you want acceptance. Comedy is a thing where you want acceptance so much, and when you do your shit and nobody goes up to you, like after you get done, everybody's like, "You're funny, dude." And you're sitting there like this, dude. Sometimes I, I like coconuts. I fucking ate a, the biggest dick so many times. I'm in the car like, what the fuck am I doing? Talk about one of the, the best eating dick stories. <laughs> oh, eating dick story? Well, not me personally, because no, I've ate a couple of dicks. You, but I've heard some motherfuckers like, oh, I'm sitting there like this dude. Ate, so I, he's my boy, man. I love him to death, but he was up there just eating dick so bad. He, You can hear the ceiling fan. That was so quiet Ooh. in the room. Who oh, want to mention the name? Yeah, why not? All right, it was my boy Jorge. He knows it. He gets pissed off. Jorge, Jorge Cortez. He's my boy, man. Right. And my little brother shout out, right there. Shout out to Jorge Cortez. And he and he ate the biggest dick, and he was sitting there looking at me to save his ass. He was like, Otis, I'll be hanging out with you. I'm like, nah, not, not, not. You ain't hanging out with me tonight. <laughs> You're not hanging out with me tonight, man. Um, it's all you right here, and I'm not gonna save you. And you know you ate a dick when everybody comes up to you like you like you ran over a puppy or some shit. Hey man, uh, you all right? You good? You all right, man? You cool? Everything good? Yeah, all right, cool. Every comedian kept coming to me, hey, man, uh, you all right? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Stop, <laughs> and it happens that so way, hard. but it only get, makes you stronger, man. It only builds you up. I like, don't want nobody coming to me if I, if I fail. Uh, I've ate, like, if I lose at a sport or something, like, I don't fuck Dude. Me. Don't come at me all trying to make me feel better. Like, don't talk dude, to me. Dude, th- th- I, I did a show at Moe's Barbecue over down Alabama Street. Yeah. That's like the blackest place That's you can do a show. Though. That's a bomb-ass barbecue, by the way. And I was the, I was the host. In a in a black venue with black people, nice. other comedians were there. Like, there's a white guy and a Hispanic dude. 
<laughs> None of the black people even knew I hosted. They went up to the other comedians after the show. You were awesome. You were fucking great. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Even the two comedians that did the jokes after me got them black pussy at the end of the night. I didn't get shit. <laughs> The black girl was like this. You, yeah, you were there. I'm like, yeah, I was the host. You yeah, you you held my seat when I went to sit down. You were awesome. You were good. I'm like, what the fuck? You got that nerdy side to you, man. I know what it is. I get. I got no ass. Radar, man. I, I guess what it was in a black show where black people don't even fucking remember your ass. You know what I'm saying? That most barbecue though. When I got the last time I was arrested, fucking there was this, there was this dude. This is like he, the straightest thug when I got arrested, hey, right? This dude was. He said it was that's his brother. Like he said that's his brother. Mo, you know Mo's barbecue. That's my brother. Some black dude, but he broke it down like he was talking about like the recipes and how to cook shit. Like oh, he loved talking. Mo. He has a brother. Yeah, I don't know if you know Mo. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck Mo is. But I, just, but I was. Yeah. I was in the damn holding tank with the damn brother. Really? He's trying to open up his own shit. That's he, a fucking small you know, fucking world, yeah, man. Dog. You see how barbecue pizza people like, he was a funny dude. together. He was a funny dude. He kept, <laughs> he kept talking about how he likes running his the edge of his hand. On the girl's ass <laughs> and smelling it like oh, to make us oh. laugh. Oh, love that. This fucking was a black, but he do the motions. He'd be like this, he'd be like, like that. <laughs> so I like, like smelling the funny ass black, but he he knew his shit though. Yeah, he told us, yeah, you gotta you gotta season it like this and and cook it for like all day, like you know, sixteen hours and blah blah blah. Did he talk about gizzard? Nah, but he was talking about how long they cook it and the Brisket size of their and all that shit. the size of their fucking cookers and shit. Ah, Mo, that's my brother, but. He uh, we had a falling out because he was uh hitting on my girl, blah blah blah. Like yeah, dog. For real, get yeah. the fuck out of here. And it was me, and it was this dude. I think you know him because I seen him like mutual friends on uh, Alex's page. What the fuck is this? The kid? I'm not gonna. I don't know. I forget the name, but he's a like a younger kid that gets the haircuts with the designs in it, the Jordans. He was in there and he was talking shit back to us like. Ah, come on, fool! Like he was like talking back to him. Some kid. Fuck. I don't, he was in there yeah, too. Man, just, it was a fucking. Adonis. Nah, fuck. <laughs> I'll fucking find this shit. But pussy and barbecue, this is awesome. It was this youngster, man. It just goes together so good. It's this jail story, man. You, you see funny like, shit. Like, you see funny shit in jail, dog. I, I went to jail once, and I was just like, you know, just did you trip me out? I didn't go to the. You had to, you had to, you had to go once for sure to get the keep, no, he, to keep your black card, dog. Nah, it's just one of those black th- card. I went to jail on Christmas, dude. Did you really? How long oh, ago? it How sucks. Long ago? This tell year. a story. All right, <laughs> tell the story. No, I don't want to tell a story. Tell them. Wait, don't bring it up, then, motherfucker. All right, I'll tell the story. Nah, lean into the mic. I might have cut you off, though. Were you? Nah, hold on. Nah, are you good? Lean you into good? the mic. Lean into the mic. I'm going to lean in a little bit. You know, I was like... Lean uh, into the mic. That's right. That's what I told her last night. Lean into the mic, girl. <laughs> oh. I just happened to be driving. Let's watch some Netflix. You know, someone got pulled over <laughs> that I was with, and um, a little bit of pot on me, man. Like, you know, Holy I'm, shit. I'm not going to, like, I couldn't get to it, so... I fessed up right away. You know, I'm not going to, like... So now you have to deal with it though, or no? I don't have to, I'm looking to battle. But you have to deal with it now, right? I mean, yeah. When's the court date? 22, dog. <laughs> you gonna be there, son? I'll be, be there. My I'll be there to support you. Yeah, I hold a sign up and shit. <laughs> hey, my boy is a badass lawyer, man. Shout <laughs> out to number. Peace Peace Law Offices. Peace, P A P E A S E. That's that's the man. He used to be a fucking PO, so he already knows all the ins and outs of that I shit. Need to get with him, oh, yeah, dog. <laughs> I'm serious. Honestly, like right, right now, Jesus is like really out blacking me right now. Like he's he's <laughs> really out blacking me. Like, Paso, dog. Are you honestly, for honestly, like, I think I think honestly he'll get some more black pussy than I would right now. Like, he's I really like, out blacking me like right now. I like that light skin shit. Though. <laughs> oh, you like the, the Rihanna shit, shit, huh? I like the Rihanna. Oh, man, I'm wrong with that. That's my shit. Man. That's my. Like, right now, he's the, honestly dog. He's he out blacking right now. He, his black card. Hey, is you gone. know what, man? I grew up in the South Side, so in reality, if you want, to, if you want, to, hey guys, all drunk shit aside, if you want some history. In Southside El Paso, by Bowie High School, there's a there's a couple schools, but the elementary school called uh, Douglas Elementary. Yeah. That back in the days was a black only school, so there's like a small percentage. There's some black people in Second Ward, Southside El Paso. Yeah. They're there. They're there. They're black, but they know Spanish. I met. I met black a couple. Skin. They're black, but they know Spanish. They're like they talk like fucking cholos and shit. I've seen those dudes. They're in Douglas. You know where Douglas Elementary is by Bowie High School. Yeah. Salazar Project, shout out to Salazar Projects, Douglas Elementary, Hard Elementary, that's on the border. This is like Southside shit, dog. I like that. This is, I went to fucking Hard Elementary, Guillen Middle School, and fucking Bowie High School, dog. No, I honestly, dude, like Southside shit, dog. This is like the Roz dude I know because I like he, 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 was just, he was bumping Nas and shit. I'm like, God damn, this motherfucker is like, y'all blacking me right now. Like, what the fuck is going on? 
I, I, uh, who's it? <laughs> like, I had to sit in the back seat like, God damn, this motherfucker. Just... Hey, you, you take pride in being not so black, though. Yeah, for real. <laughs> He's like, I'm not trying to be part of that shit. Don't, don't group me into that shit. It's like, sorry, dog. Your skin groups into that shit. When you want to trust me out, like, when, that's why I love El Paso so much. The way you can run into it, the blackest motherfucker. You'd be like, hey, dog, can you get like, this way? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm like, what? <laughs> Dude, you blacker than me. Hey, que no, 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 hables, uh, negrito, con, no, 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 I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, really, dog? Like, que es en el negrito, wey? I'm like, what the fuck? Black burrito. Black burrito, dog. You got black burrito, <laughs> black, got black burrito <laughs> niggas in here. That's fucking awesome. That's why I love El Paso, dog. I mean, the blackest motherfucker. Like, you don't think about the more, it treats me out because they have like Fort Bliss and you got Puerto Ricans, you got Cubans, Dominicans. Yeah. It'd be the blackest motherfucker, and you think he black, and he just like, hey, get his papi. Hey, get hey. hey, you know what? That's weird. That's weird, that's weird that you bring it up. I mean, that, that term black, they don't, like, I've noticed that they don't like that. Like, if they're not from here, black is, we live here in America, so yeah. that's, we use black. But if you're a black guy that's not from here, they don't call themselves black. Oh, no, hell here's no. A, here's a story. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I read I read an interview. We're just like a story. It was Anderson Silva, MMA fighter, UFC, fucking greatest mm. of all time. My favorite fighter, my 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 dream dad. <laughs> and uh, fucking, he was saying, it was, a fan was talking about a story. Like, yeah, I walked up to Anderson Silva. He's like, he's a black dude. He's like, what's up, black? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, America, like East Coast. What's up, black? And Anderson Silva was weird. It fucking Michael Jackson accent. Oh, no, hey. I'm not, I'm not black. I'm Brazilian. But he's black. You know yeah, what I'm he but, looks black. But like, that's a that's a, a USA thing. Yeah. Black. Because honestly, like... I'm Brazilian. I don't black. I'm Brazilian. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. When he came back, when you know, he got he was away for a while, he lost. Yeah. He came back, and that's the first thing he said, I be black. He, I, I saw a certain YouTube, like, I be black. I'm like, what do he say? Did he say, I be black? He's, he's, he's <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, accent. I was like, this, I was there live when he lost that first time. I was in Vegas. I saw that. Shit. <laughs> really? Fucking why didn't... No, nah, but you know what? Unfortunately, he's a great fighter, but he showed off too much that night, that. He was Honestly, showing off. Like, he was dodging the shit. No, what? Nah, no, he deserved to get knocked the fuck out. I watched, okay. I watched okay. that fight. He deserved to get knocked the no, fuck yeah, out. No, yeah, yeah. But day. watch. Here's, here's, the, here's the fighting thing. I can relate to him because this is how I fight. And like, I, I'm afraid to say it because I'm going to give away my secrets. Because this, this is how I win fights, man. You have to fucking... If you know in yourself that you're lacking in a certain area, he knows that he lacks in the ground game. So he doesn't want to be taken down because Weidman's a beast on the ground. Yeah. So he's going to do what the fuck ever it takes to, to keep it standing. Right. I'm going to attack your pride, your ego. So I'm going to like, oh, joke around to make you say, yeah, I'm going to, I'll show you standing. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's like yeah. you're drawing I'm, them in. And it's, not, it's not playing around. It's like a mind game. I'm going to draw you in to stand up. Because if you take me down, I'm going to lose. Understood. You know what I'm saying? So, you have a good point there. You know but if saying? you're going to do that, how, you got to back it up. You can't be... I'm gonna keep no, going to keep going. Yeah, yeah. Well, he got cut. And you got fucking, you get that's how I fight. I'm like, I suck at fighting, so I'm going to play do little tricks. And dude, I, when I was little, I used to get, I used to fight. And like, I used to just trick. It would work every time, dog. I would, do, I would pretend to pick up sand off the ground. I had nothing in my hand. And I would throw it at them. And they'd go like this. And then <laughs> I'd just attack them. Like pretend to throw sand at them. And they would flinch. And I would just attack him and win. You know what I'm saying? You almost said G.I. Joe shit. That's just G.I. Joe Or I'd pretend shit. to be scared and I'd run. I think like the then, 500 like smoke screen. Yeah. Like, <laughs> or I'd run, right? I'd run, be a bigger kid running after me, but I'm pretending to be afraid. And then I'm running and then I'd let him catch up to me and I'd stick my leg out. And yeah. they would trip and they'd fucking fall and I'd just attach. Just that's <laughs> smart. I have that's to get smart. creative because I can't fight. That's, so a, be, that's the better alternative than that's what I That's why use. I relate to the, what, what yeah. he was doing. Like I have to... Trick him to stand up because if I if he takes me down I'm gonna lose. So I have to trick that's him. That's smart. To, I have to be that's fucking. Smart. You know what I'm saying? Draw that's, him into that game. That's smart because what I would do is get my get my boy to talk shit and then we <laughs> run together. Then I trip him, he whoop his ass, and I jump on him. That's the way I would. That's my technique. That's smart too. That the running technique I use. I'm like I'm a, I'm not a fighter, dog. I'm yeah, more of a, I'm a I'm more of a lover, but I'll fight when I have to. But I I will run like a motherfucker. I, I I have good skills. <laughs> When it comes to running, I'm not a fighter, but for some reason I've been in a bunch of fights. I don't know why. Oh, well, because I, I forget because I because I talk shit. I yeah, I, I played basketball <laughs> in high school. I jump hurdles, so I'm good at running. Can you ball though? I can ball a little bit. My my, my skills have di- diminished. Damn, I am out. I am out blacking this dude. I'll bet you if I, ball, I if I play one on one of this, I bet you I'll be. And you probably out black me there too. I can ball. I, I'm, no, a, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a big ball. I, I'm right with Kobe I is right know now. The, uh, I only know the, the 
fundamentals, man. Yeah, I'm the same way, man. I'm like, I can pass you an assist. I'll assist you. I'll make sure you score. It's like we are going to a bar. I'm like, I'm going to make sure you score for the night. And I just go like this. Here's the condom, dog. Make sure you, you know, see, pull out in time because you can't trust the condom either. That's just me. I mean, I, this is my first time doing this podcast shit, so this is really insane for me. Like, it's been it's been actually really good. Like, this, it feels like there's been a good flow to it. Uh, honestly, dude, honestly, you guys are fucking cool. Like, honestly, you guys are really. I, at times, I, I think you guys are too cool to be hanging out with my ass. <laughs> so I really appreciate you guys even like taking the time. I got two bottles of liquor in front of me, and I have not even had a chance to drink these in front of nobody in front of you guys. Yeah. You guys are the only person that drank with me I right now. Tonight, <laughs> For real, honestly, yeah, you, you guys are the only motherfuckers that drank with me the whole night. So let's wrap it up, because he has to... He has to, he has no, to no, I mean, it's been great, man. But, you know, like, uh, I was saying, this has been good for this show. <laughs> nah, it is, man. You guys are... Uh, right now, Jesus out black me. Like, right now, <laughs> he out <laughs> blacking me. Court, he talking about being in jail cell with barbecue ribs and shit Jesus and smoking. Crossover. He balling, with the brother of uh, Moe's barbecue. Now he he really. <laughs> what are your favorite things that happened this week, man? Like <laughs> this week? Shit. Yeah, oh man, news, man, you know I can't talk. About shit. You know my favorite. This week? Was? Yo, Kanye, did you see that shit? What happened? He he posted up a new track on Twitter. Okay, and I he, saw like, that. Blundered. He blundered it and like took it off sound, put it up on SoundCloud, pulled it off. Are oh, we talking about that? Um, facts. No, real friends, real friends. Real friends. Yeah, I, I didn't that. see. I didn't hear that. I joint. Really facts. Cool. I saw the posting, but I don't know the story it's really, behind it. It's really it. cool. So this, but like when it initially went down, he posted it like during the day. I think it was like on Tuesday or Wednesday or something. Thursday, posted it up and then like pulled it down and then he put up a tweet and it said, <laughs> "Un mo- I quote, dude, "Un momento." <laughs> you serious? Oh, he put, "Un momento, cover." I think there was some distortion. In the main baseline and real friends, so I'm gonna upload it again. Oh, but it's like you clean it up. Like, dude, you, you are a dad yeah. now, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's perfection. But Kanye's always been a perfectionist, he is. man. Yo, but Twitter, uh, dude. Oh, momento. The, the, yeah. the memes, like ah, the memes that I thought I love about the internet. The memes are. Yeah. Like, oh. Yo, there was one yeah. that he was like. He's like reading a paper. It's like a picture of reading a paper. <laughs> and it said, uh, Kanye, Kanye reading SoundCloud's like, uh, what is it? Like when you accept the terms and responsibilities, whatever. Yeah, He's like conditions. reading the terms and responsibilities. Because like he couldn't figure it out. Like, dude, how, how are you going to like not be able to upload the right track? Yeah. Right here? Honestly, Come I... On, then the old momento part though. Producing. I wish I could the use that in a sexual part, experience. Though, the old momento. Momento. Yeah, I want to use that in, in, in a sexual experience. That's kind of racist. Doc. Kind. When I come fast, I can be like, uh, un momento, you thought the sexual experience was going to be satisfying, but there's something wrong in my and my stroke technique. My stroke technique was fucked up. Let me go back un momento. <laughs> yeah, that's a great un momento. and do this again because I'll come back with round two. Un the best, the best three minutes of your life. If you can just go ahead and let me do this <laughs> over. <laughs> All right, man. Any any closing closing words, guys? We're like a hour and twenty eight minutes deep right now, so we're good. good. We're good. Nice. Let me shout outs, thank yeah, yous. Shout out to Sister May, Aaron Sister Madrid, May, his little boy turned one the other day. Shout out to Ooh, little Easy. Shout out to little. What's his name? Little Easy. Ezra. Ezra. Okay. Shout out to Ezra. Happy birthday. Mm. And uh, Sister May. There you go. Again, DJs, well known DJs. I, See, like, <laughs> Otis, don't, Otis, Otis don't keep up with the party scene. I don't. I don't. I don't know what the fuck. I don't even go out anymore. Any shout outs and thank yous, uh, Otis? I just want to give a shout out to everybody that's supporting me in my comedy, man. God bless y'all. When's man. the next, uh, the upcoming gigs and shit? Um, there's a, there's a, uh, refry show coming up this weekend. And, uh, I think it's, uh, I don't want to say the name right. But I know it's a homeboy that, that basically, uh, uh, I think his name is Tony, I don't say Banks. No. Yeah, yeah. Always Tony so, Tunch. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, he's. Well, uh, to be honest, I never, I don't know when I'm gonna drop this one. I might hold off and drop it like later. But yeah, just in general, what what are the the goals, man? What's 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 the resolutions? Let's say that resolutions, man. It's just comedy uh, wise or just in general. Uh, upgrade myself and get better. And basically, I want to be in a situation where I can be in an arena making people laugh. All right, all right. That's basically so, what I want to do. That that's my goal. Shit. All right. Yeah, because I love comedy that much, man. It's not like I said, it's not a job for me. Something I love to do, and I, I think for everybody that ever supported me. Where can the people find you as far as social media wise? Social media wise, it's at Otis Six on Facebook or Otis Six Three on Twitter. So you can hit me up there. I'm a guy with the biggest head on the profile. How about the gram? 
The gram? Nah, Instagram? Yeah, it's Otis62. All right, cool. I'm a guy with the biggest head. I have like no, like only like one follower on Twitter. The rest of them are all porn sites. For some reason, porn likes to follow me <laughs> on Twitter for some that reason. German shit, dog. I don't know what it is. I guess they knew I was in Germany and some shit. Like they, they, they follow cat. me. That's cat. Like, I have 10 followers on all of them are porn sites. I'm like, what the fuck? And it's one girl that does deep throat. She follows me for some mm. reason. I like this. I like Otis, you're funny. I'm like, well, uh, thank you for showing me your deep throat techniques to your man there. And putting it on Twitter. I didn't know Twitter was that nasty. Like, Twitter's really fucking nasty. I thought Twitter was just about people with social media and gets yeah. to know people. There's a lot of nasty shit on Twitter. I didn't I'm fucking not, no I'm clue. Not, I'm not a Twitter guy, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just linked into everything else. Yeah, it was fucking like crazy. Facebook, Tumblr. Yeah, Twitter. man. So, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hopefully, man, out of this, I, I think I want to thank you guys for giving me an avenue to talk and yeah, just invite, inviting me here, man. Hell yeah. And Appreciate I'm very it. antisocial, so I'm thank you guys for letting me and Tansley talk a little <laughs> bit. So thank that's, you guys. Let's hear Bobby's uh Rob Bass, Bobby's uh resolutions here. Any, any resolutions? Yeah, resolutions. Yeah, I have a resolution. You know, it's, it's a, Don't get pulled over for a week. Drink, drink more water and uh <laughs> drink more water. Use my, <laughs> use my time wisely, dog. Use my time. Be more productive. <laughs> that's all I do. That's all I try to do. Be in the gym. <laughs> uh, what? What the I wanna just uh hug yeah, more people. Years. I want to be, my goal is to be the inner spoon, the small spoon more often, be held more, have more make sessions, uh, be, be nervous and uh, socially awkward, right be more socially awkward with girls more and get ready more. Do you want to join the anti-social club? I want to, I want to join something. That's I want, a good I want to club belong. to join. I want to belong more. That's another resolution. <laughs> <laughs> I want to belong. I want to piss people off more. I want to, yeah, I want to sell, I want to sabotage myself more than I have in the past. Yeah. Because I do it a lot, but I'm trying to step it up though. Nice. Uh, you know, and just uh, make make some more bad decisions, bad judgment. Nah, he, he's just he's all black me right now. Right now, <laughs> step it up. Jesus all black everybody in this room, so I I can't. <laughs> I'm done. All right, man. Shit. So, do you want to promote anything? Uh, not like anything time sensitive, because I don't know when this episode's coming out, Bobby. But as far as like, where can, where can the people find you? Do you have a fan page or anything like that? Or? Uh, I mean, you can get you can see me online, Claudio Roberto everywhere. You know what I mean, like. Insta's Claudio Roberto 87. Same thing. Tell, as, for the ones that don't know, tell people what you do, man. What do I do? I don't know. Well, yeah. Just I, in, I, I, don't, I mean, I don't do much. I ride a fixed gear. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I ride a bicycle, dude. Talk about your fucking DJ and shit. That's so, all. There's nothing to say about it. I mean, nah, but you get up. I mean, I get this up. This guy's being up. humble. He's being humble, know. guys. It's like one of the dopest house fucking DJs, and he, he knows his hip hop shit too. He didn't want to talk about the multiple he was, he orgies was, he had that last night. What, like, what was I'm your just, role? What was your role in uh, La Parada? My role in La Parada, man, I was just a co organizer for the first five years. I just barely right. dropped out, you know, just okay. like last season, May. So, just so you guys know, like, there's some heavy hitters in the room here. Yo, Comedian yeah, wise, yeah. promoter, DJ wise. Keep supporting them, them folks. Yeah, hell yeah. La Parada, and, uh, shout out to yeah, La Parada. I, mean, I had a role in that and, and Late Night Social Club for the longest time. So. LNSC, shout out to LNSC. Shout out to Joe Nava. Joe Nava, Kid Small, all all the, the whole crew. Crazy guys. But yeah, man, you, you find me around. You can see me. Yeah, man, you, you ain't hard to find. No, not at all. It's all right, guys, so we're going to cap it off with that. Uh, if you like what you hear, please share it, guys. You can find Sweet Jesus Radio on iTunes, Stitcher.com, and SoundCloud. So search for it. Sure, spread the word. If you're on iTunes, please, uh, if you can, give me a five star rating. SoundCloud, click on the heart, whatever the fuck. Uh, type out a review if you can, you know what I mean, on iTunes. So uh, just keep supporting it. And when I post it, share it if you can. Uh, we're going to keep some guests. We got, we got some shit in store, man. 2016. Uh, oh, and big shout out to L Stu Recording Studio for letting us do our shit here. And that's my boy, uh, my boy Rafa, Fat Cat, Street Associates. He also has a, a remodeling company, ASAP remodeling and all that shit. So holler at that shit. All right, guys. Peace. Peace out. Peace. Thanks for listening. Sweet Jesus Radio. <laughs>